Hey there, hey there, StarCraft fans. It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of the Sunday Brood War stream. Today, guess what it's going to be? It's going to be more StarCraft. Should be incredible stuff. Woo! All right, so we've got replay sent to me at falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of Brood War. Let's see how many replays we have here today. Viewer submitted for 2024. We've got March. We've got, what the heck? The 17th, not the 10th. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 replays today. Excellent, excellent number. And who was here first? It was Nice Roll, long time member. Holy smokes, that is incredible stuff. Mm, what else? What else? What else? We've got uh, Nimmo Noom, Chad Weiss. Ah, oh, Queen Amelia is here from the land down under. Who else, man? Da -da. Luis, Luis71, who was also a longtime member of the channel. How's it going, Luis? I think I've seen you for a couple of weeks. Happy Sunday. Thanks for the stream. Says, mm, Cyrillic characters that I can't read, but I appreciate you being here. Hope you're having a good day. Christopher in the house, Indigo Raider, CJ says early start. Yeah, we did, uh, what was it, last week? Was last week Daylight Savings here in America? I think it was. I don't know, time has no meaning to me. It's another Srillic character person here. Have a good stream, he says. Aw, thank you so much for your kind words. Farewell. I love Farewell. How you doing, Farewell? He's a Discord member and a super long time subscriber. RJ Beer. <laughs> RJ Beer? Did I just call you RJ, RJ Beer? Uh, yeah, I woke up like 30 minutes ago, so I'm just like, Ugh. I had a shower. I ate some cold pizza for breakfast. I'm feeling great. RJ Beer is here. <clears throat> He's a Lisa Gaib. Have you seen Dune Part 2? I've seen it three times, you guys, in theaters. I am, woo. I'm all about that Dune lifestyle right now. PJ in the house. Starcraft 2 Arcade is down. No, Richard. Bad times. A lot of fun stuff out there. Nibbler. Got a Nibbler replay. Awesome stuff. Who else? Who else? And Buzzard. Buzzard X91. Longtime subscriber. Buzzard 2. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> All right. Well, now the question is, as always, whose replay should we do first? This isn't showing up. With any kind of a, I bet that's because there's an exclamation mark in there. I bet that's what the problem is. There's some kind of character in that replay name that's freaking it the F out. All right. Tell you what. Let's fix that real quick. I think I can do that. Replays. Viewer we submitted. 2024. 17. Where's my exclamation mark? There it is. There's like a lot of weird characters in that replay name. What the heck? We're just going to call you 05... 095139.rep. Let's see if that fixes things. 17th. Yep, sure does. Certainly does. Ah, that's monster. Cool. That's the diamond, says RJB. Oh, it wasn't the exclamation mark. It was the diamond. There were a lot of other weird characters in there, too, huh? But if the diamond was the problem. Cold breakfast at the Breakfast of Champions. Nice. That's what I've always thought. And it's pepperoni. I think pepperoni is the best form of cold breakfast pizza of all that I've had. I've tried like barbecue chicken. I've tried like a supreme combination pizza with a bunch of different toppings on there, like vegetables and meat and stuff. I've tried Hawaiian. It's like, meh. I think pepperoni is the best one. Maybe it's just because pepperoni is good cold as well as hot. What a versatile food pepperoni is, huh? Huh? Okay. So yeah, we've got a monster replay. We've got Rich versus Sack from RJB. Brain in a 3v3 48 minute game. Holy smokes, dude. What's up, Baron Starker? Starcraft indeed. Uh, Silver Wolf in the house. Different from Sliver Wolf. Keep this in mind. Are they different people? Who knows? Crazy Micro? Uh, oh, this is Arkaz playing against... This is a free-for-all against three comps? No, wait, no, this is Nada. These are AIs. Shelak tribe and the Valari tribe, but Nada and Arkaz seem like real people. This is like a, a UMS replay, perhaps, from Arkaz here. 
What's up, Jericho? Yeah, Jericho, it was, well, last week was what we like to call daylight savings time in America. What's up, Gallons? What's up, Kyle? What's up, Indigo? Only homemade pepperoni. Uh, it was from Pizza Hut pepperoni. Sorry. Hey, Queen Amelia. How are things? Top replay is cross. Oh! Look at us identifying WK Cross. Okay, that's a WK Cross replay featuring Sliverwolf. Okay, all right. Uh, Tough Grigar. Hey, I remember his name. And Tired Sheba. Sticks. Final Sky Late Game Chaos Rep. And then a Hurakami replay. I like Hurakami replays. I don't know. Just a couple of the two or three that have been sent in by Hurakami have been really fun. Hurakami has also sent in a loss already. So you know this is not a guaranteed Hurakami win. I, again, I always appreciate. Suga. Suga Dintas is in the house, too. I messed around with the colors over here on the right side. I think it looks better than last week, but I don't know, man. Four one nine one four one. Hello there. Pizza Hut is the best Red Baron. Wait, Pizza Hut the best Red Baron best frozen pizza. Oh, interesting. Your dead nail fell off and it makes you want to cry, but it's I mean it's dead. Right? It's gone. Isn't that good? I've had a I mean I dropped something on my toe once like ten years ago and yeah, it kills the nail, it goes all black and gross, and then it falls off, and then there's a new one underneath it and it's fun. Did it hurt? It didn't really hurt for me, but maybe it hurt in your experience. Anyway, looks like we got a request. Who requested that? Nibbler. Nibbler wants a bunker rush on the start. I think that's a good idea. But he's also talking about charcoal grilled chicken and pizza. In Canada, the best pizza you ever had was Canadian? That might be heresy. Speaking to an American caster here, but I'll, I'll allow it. Canada has some pretty good food. Uh, I'm pretty much just going to talk here the whole time, Merp. Uh, let's... Yeah, definitely heresy. All right, cool. Uh, let's go Bunker Rush. That sounds fine. Do, 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 do. Bunker Rush, Bunker Rush, fun Bunker Rush. Tough Kriegar, tired Shiba. Shiba, Shiba's a kind of a dog, right? Ah, sorry, 419141. No, you didn't mention that, Queen Amelia. Holy smokes, you shattered the tip of your ring finger. How did that happen? Like the bone? Shattering implies bone was involved here. Uh, what procedure do you have, 4191? All right, man, top right. We're on Eclipse. It's gonna be our Zerg player, Tough Kriegar. We like this guy. And in the bottom left, it's Tired Sheba. I can relate to you, Tired Sheba. I'm also a little bit tired, but I'm doing okay. I got to bed at a decent time last night. I was reading some more Horus Heresy book stuff. Books called Nemesis. It's awesome. Like, I, what I like a lot about the Horus Heresy book series is that it's not just, you know, 30 books of the same thing, you know? Sometimes it's all about Astartes and Space Marines, and it's all about Primarchs, and it's all about World Conquest, and sometimes it's about regular people just doing stuff, and sometimes it's about intrigue and politics and sneakiness, and I like it. The mix-ups are nice. Shiba Inu. Yeah. And okay. So we got a proxy barracks here. Out of tired Shiba. To tell us it was a bunker rush in the name of the replay. So that spoiled a little bit, but it's fun. Oh no! 4191, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I, I think I have to do that in like four years. I'm not looking forward to it, man. I can tell you that much. I've heard, I don't know, first not as bad as it used to be at least. Not as bad as it used to be? Is that a fair fair thing to say? Oh, Queen Amelia says it's a funny story. I eat, I eat.
There we go. Overlord sees this marine hoofing it up here. And ta-da! We got a bunker. Our drone sees it. This SCV running around. I'm just scouting. No! You're trying to build a bunker. Die. I mean, at this point, yeah, I was going to say, you got to pull more drones than the one here. And he is. Good response from Tough Krieger. Shutting it down. What's up, monster? Yeah, I think you'll be fine. 4191. All right. This is actually not a bad response out of Tough Krieger. I mean, this is exactly what you need to be doing. This is what somebody like Jadong would do. This is what somebody like Beast would do. Trying to kill a couple of these Marines. At least trying to make sure the bunker never happens. Buy time for your lings to get out. Uh, there you go. Got the SCVs. Yeah, now just get out of here. Let the Marines work away at this hatch if you want. But there are lings popping. And unupgraded Marines are not particularly great in this situation. Yeah, they're going to like... Hugging the uncompleted bunker. They're like, please, please, bunker, provide us with safety. It's like, no, absolutely not. There we go. Another SCV dies. Bunker, I think, probably got canceled there. And we got to get out. Got to get out. Got to get out. Is there any gas? No speed. Just going to be slowlings here for now from Tough Krieger. But slowlings are faster than Marines. They hit them pretty darn hard. If the Marines don't have stim, if they don't have range, if they don't have medics... It's actually, we're we just chasing this one particular dude. <laughs> Where are you going? The thing is like, ah, wait, no, there are more guys. Holy smokes. Ugh. Ah, oh, Indigo, that does sound like a better system than ours. Hmm. Amelia was carrying one of the Karunda beds in daycare. The beds have aluminum linings, and I tripped over a sleeping bag, uh, sleeping dog, rather, and fell face forward. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry, Queen Amelia. That sucks. All right. Well, let's see. Oh, I like the positioning here at the top of the ramp. He's still... Per no, he's not. He just has the barracks down here. What the heck? So he's super bunkering up back home. By that, I mean he has two Marines inside two different bunkers. Yo, what the heck? Whew. So yeah, you broke and shattered the tip of your finger, Queen Amelia. So yeah, that was the bone then. Did they like... How do they fix that? How exactly do you fix a shattered bone at the tip of your finger? Because my dad shattered his wrist sliding into home plate playing softball like 25 years ago. And they put pins in his wrist to fix the shattering problem. But I don't... Can they put pins in the tip of your finger? I don't know. Okay, once again. Marines try to get up here. No, say the lings. No, say the drones. Another SCV was here too. What are you doing with another SCV, tired Sheba? All right. Finally getting some gas. Finally getting a second hatchery here. Well, third hatch. That's a macro hatch. I'm on board and the barracks are floating home. So, tired Sheba. He's pretty much just on marine tech at the moment. He's going to go ahead and use these barracks. It looks like to wall off his front or against incoming ling hordes, but don't get up that ramp. Just check for a natural and just get out of there. You're fine. You are totally fine. Zerg's floating. Yes, Nibbler. Both players are floating about 300 minerals here. Not too surprising. No, don't run in two or three at a time, dudes. Ah! Okay, well, we kill at least one marine. No, yes, actually, one marine did go down. Good micro on this guy, though. Getting focused down like that. Check in, check in. Ling's just being all over the place trying to see what's going on out here. Metabolic boost is finally on the way. These guys need to get to work. Second gas is up from the Zerg player, but there's not a lair. What are we doing with this second gas, dude? Hydroden? Yes, Hydroden. Okay, so he's going to go into Lurkers to try to deal with this. Man, I've been watching ASL VODs with Tastosis out on the uh, Afrika Esports YouTube channel. And I just watched Beast vs. Royal yesterday. I'm not going to spoil anything. But I will tell you, it involved a proxy kind of ninja base, and it was a really interesting game. I liked it a lot. So ASL's had some crazy stuff in it for sure. A couple crazy upsets. Like, I'm not going to... Again, I'm not spoiling anything from ASL for you guys. But, uh, yeah, it's been really fun. Didn't require surgery. She just wore a splint. Hmm. All right, Queen Amelia, good deal. I'm glad you didn't need anything too traumatic to fix that problem. Intriguing, intriguing. Gotta do some PT. Yeah, that's understandable. Alright, good. And then you lost your nail. Fair stuff. 
So, it's going to be a lair. There we go. Lair finishing up. Let's see how long it takes him to start Lurker Aspect. Lair pops. Badoom. Money? Yeah, plenty of money for that. And there it is. That's actually pretty good out of Tough Krieger. Getting that upgrade going. Going for that Lurker stuff. He's like, alright, my guy's going for a ton of Marines. Kind of seems like he is. He's making a Wraith now. Tired Shiva. Oh, gets a single Vulture out. Some pretty decent Vulture Micro here. Man. Uh, I don't know, Toy Cop. I thought I was watching Round of 16 stuff. Oh, Round of 24. You're right. Round of 24 VODs are out from Tastos. It's not Round of 16 yet. Correct, correct. You're right, Toy Cop. How are you doing, sir? Yeah, it's funny because they've got Tastosis, <clears throat> like, Artosis is in your right ear and Tastosis is in your left ear, but they're in the same location. So, the, one of them, they both do this, one of them will mute their own mic to, like, turn their head and cough, but you can hear them coughing in the other caster's mic. So the hiders are out, they dealt with that vulture quite nicely. So it's funny because you'll be listening on headphones and then one ear goes quiet and you're like, oh, oh. And then you hear the other, you hear the coughing distantly in the other ear. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> I know what's going on. What's up, Beerosaurus? <clears throat> Oof. Ooh, 4191. That sounds like a tough guy. Man, went back to climbing. So I, you know what? I'm not going to say no to a Wraith. It's just basically behaving like a Corsair right now, just hunting overlords. Can't say no to that. Actually, better at killing overlords than Corsairs are, too. Which is nice. Bunker at the front. Tired Sheba, man. Just dragging some Hydras in. Not too bad. All right, man. Lurker's up. What sort of detection do we have here? Uh, sat. We have a sat station. Okay, they killed one of the lurkers. Good scan. Good scan. Ah, 4191. That's very nice. Happy Sunday, indeed. <laughs> hey, sticks. Something like that. Yeah, good scan again. Wait, did he scan that? Can't tell. I don't think he did. Got another scan available, though. Still one basing, by the way. Look at this. Look at Tired Sheba one basing like a madman. Third base is done for the Zerg player? This is not looking good for Terran. If you're one basing, you gotta be aggressive. You gotta start killing stuff. Drones, hatcheries, entire Zerg armies. If you're one basing, but your opponent's on three bases, you're not doing it right. Drop moving out. This is spotted, right? I think that was spotted. I don't know. It might, might have been distracted by the Wraith, though. Hey, what's up, Ross? Oh, Ross Johnson comes into the channel and demands no mirror matchups and no carbot. Wow. How, good morning to you, too, sir. The kind of person, like, walks into McDonald's and, like, complains about the fact that they put lettuce on your Big Mac? Good grief. So grumpy this morning. Alright. Uh, Dropship comes in. No response here from Tough Krieger at all, but man, drops are hard to deal with at these lower levels. I understand. Oh no, he's pulling drones. He's like, oh crap. This is bad news. Drones fight. I don't know about that. But the Hydras are coming in. Okay. Where'd the medic go? There she is. She's in there. Okay, so look, a couple drones died. Still 28 drones. He's floating 1,000 minerals and 1,000 gas and producing nothing but an extractor. He could make a butt ton of Hydro Lurker at this stage of the game. Look who's finally. Second basing now is Tired Sheba at 12 minutes. Dropship makes it out. Kind of surprised by that. I thought the Hydras would be able to focus down a little bit there. Dun, 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 dun. 
Yeah, Lurker is high position. I like the high ground there. I don't like this position as much, but that's okay. Slutty T.Y. Pie. Let's go, Zerg, he says. <laughs> okay, well, Tired Chiba says, drops are cute and all, but you know what's really good? Giant tank marine medic pushes. You got lurkers? I got siege tanks. And, no, Tough Krieger's like, do you have siege tanks? <laughs> Lurker spines. Zerglings with plus one carapace upgrades against Marines with no attack or armor upgrades. Upgrades are king right now. Really helping here. Man, if tanks could shoot while moving, they'd be insanely good. All right. Well, tank down. Two more tanks back here. There's a science of Ezreal and a radiate. Tired Shiba knows how to spell cast everybody. That's a big deal. It's a really big deal. But look who's got Defilers. Tough Krieger. Tough Krieger. Got Defilers out. He knows. He knows the trick. He's getting consumed. Okay. This is good. Look at this poor Ling. He's just trying to find a place to... There you go. Trying to place to find this his own. That's all his own. You're going to move out? You're going to move out? What's up, Stuff? Wait, yeah, Stuff Ganyan. I like this idea. Dropping to the third base seems totally fine. There are two Hydralisks trying to defend this base. Okay, there's two Lurkers morphing on the ramp. But still, Zerg holding top. He's waiting for another push out. Both players kind of taking their respective high grounds. Another unload, but two Lurkers. Gonna do just fine here, boys. He wants that drone so bad. Ooh, he does get the drone. Nicely done. Kills a Hydralisk. Kills a Hydralisk before everybody dies. It wasn't the greatest drop of all time. It wasn't a total loss. Oh, tough says, I have Dark Swarm. I could assault any Terran position. Screw you guys. No, Hydras. Oh, okay. Got another Dark Swarm up. Another tank dies. This tank is all alone. Holy Lurker Spine, Batman. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Yesterday I was watching ASL and there was some lurker stuff going on, obviously. Ooh, see, this is why the Hydra meta. Nope, pull back, pull back, pull back. Inside the Dark Swarm. Boys, good snipe on the science vessel, though. For some reason, the lurker, sp like, sound, subterranean spine sound, it just. It's like it was new to me again. You know, I heard it the first time in 98, and it's just like, oh, oh. That's a really kind of satisfying sound. Of course, you're, uh, I'm a Zerg player. I'm sure other people who play Protoss and Terran don't like the sound of the Lurker. Because it means death. But, you know. Kindness plating coming in. Oh, boy. So, fourth base on the way from the Zerg player. Upgrades are at 1, 2. Plus one attack only for the Marines here. Upgrades are not good. Does he have one engineering bay or what? No, he's got the two. He's just not using the second one. Fair enough. Siege tanks getting some work down. Hey, what's up, Lawrence? Virasaurus, I've heard great things about Helldivers 2. I have not played it, though. But it's really captured the imagination of a lot of people online. I think Somicron's been playing it, too. 
to some extent. My gosh, he's just not even a full dropship. He's just like, I can afford to send a few Marines in here. We're going to kill the Queen's Nest. No, we killed a drone. Excellent. Killing drones is nice. Wings rolling in. Oh, do they have adrenal? Why are these drones up here? Why are you move commanding hydras? Yeah, guy move commands hydras up there and loses them. Good. Push up high ground. Don't try it, Anakin. I have the high ground. This is what Tired Shiba is saying here. Hey, what's up, JTox? What's up, Dave C? Is there a spire? Mm, no. No scourge. We're going to use Hydra to deal with these science vessels. We're making ultralists. And, oh gosh. Yeah, it's okay. Once the tanks are gone, there's a lurker in here, but it's not getting target fired by Tired Shiba. Ugh. Hey, what's up, Adrian? I've been watching your streams once a year. <laughs> okay. It's the annual Sunday Brood Wars dream for Adrian here. Very nice. Yeah, Dave, see, this is definitely Boxer. 100% Boxer. Buzzer! Thanks for the $5 super chat. Appreciate the generosity on this Sunday, or I don't think it's quite Monday anywhere yet, but on this Sunday. Appreciate it, sir. Mike the Mutalisk will arrive shortly, as we know. He likes to sleep in and be late to these things. Burrow, burrow, burrow. Oh, his friend helped him, though. This guy from, like, eight miles away totally helped. Man, a missile attack upgrade would be pretty nice. Uh, yes, Parker. Adrenal glands upgrade for lings really makes them into S-tier units at that point. They are. Their sheer amount of DPS they output when they have adrenal and plus three attack is bananas. Is it Monday in Australia already? Wow, okay. Is it like barely Monday? What time is it in Australia right now? Nice drop at the fourth base though. Okay, drones go down. That's sunken. I think I'll one hit off. Oh, I don't know if you have enough to focus the hatch. Plus two attack is good. It's just your, again, these are two two-lings now with a dreamer. There's Mike the Mutalisk. He's coming in. He is coming in. So here's the problem. The big problem right now for Tired Chiba is that he's on two bases. Just got to throw that out there. Uh, you're right, Toy Cop. I guess, what time is it at the earliest time in Australia right now? In the earliest time zone. How's it going, Matt Goodrow? Happy day, happy fun day Sunday to you too. More drops here. It's a boxer enthusiast. You know, if you showed up with like two drop chips at the same time, I think this might work better. I really do. Like the Marines are good, but if there were, you know, four more Marines here. The larger problem is these are a green only <laughs> killed like three of the Marines. Four of the Marines, maybe. Yeah, sunken plus adrenaling equals just not enough Marines really do this. Plague's on the way. Anabolic synthesis coming in. The Ultras don't have speed yet. Their ability to close in is going to be tough. I'm not even sure whether there's one Ultra Lisk out. Okay. I'm going to say, I'm not even sure a Dark Swarm is necessary here, but there's really no reason to not make Dark Swarm, I guess. Not against Terran, anyway. Okay. Maybe overextending a little bit here, eating some tank shots inside the Dark Swarm. You'll notice... The hiders are dying inside the Dark Swarm because of tank shots. So back it out. Back it out a little bit. Ah! Adelaide is 1.40 a.m. on a Monday. Dang it, it is Monday in Australia right now. Wow. I thought I had at least another couple hours. Totally did not. Incredible stuff. What's up? De Ale Lupogo. Firing away, firing away. Third base left side from Tired Shiba. Finally gets one of those. There are some SCVs here, but they're building bunkers. Ooh, boxer maneuvering. Wait, did he not do any boxer maneuvering at the other base? Dude, it is boxer. Look at this guy. 
la 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 la. Killing a bunch of drones there? It's only 28 drones for Tough Krieger. Uh, okay, man, these Dark Swarm placements are actually pretty good. Oh, uh, yeah, is Link T getting dragged outside of the Dark Swarm though? And that's the difference between this level of player and like Jadong. Is you rarely see Lings and Hiders getting dragged outside of the Dark Swarm when there's a good Dark Swarm in placement. Yeah, placement here. Uh, man, he's no upgrades on these siege tanks at all either. Science vessel irradiating stuff. Ultralisk has speed. He can join the party now. He's also got the six armor. Oh, he immediately gets irradiated. He's got six armor, which is nice. Oh, this might just be the end of it, boys. Hang on. I like how he skips dropping the natural every time and always goes into the main with his drop. Finally, Tough Krieger throws up a sunken because he's like, all right, this is ridiculous. Keep getting dropped in my main base for some reason. Uh, not, nah, it's just chaos. It's chaos and it's death and that's it. Tired Shiba taps out. Zerg has broken through and that's a GG. So yeah, that started with a bunker rush pretty well defended by Tough Krieger. And then he made it happen. Just with the Dark Swarm, he never used the Plague, I don't think. Terran player knew how to use Science Vessels. It was really just more of an economic win here for Tough Krieger, right? Like this right here. About 9,000 more resources in 23 minutes is going to be enough to beat a lot of players if you're a Zerg player. So that was, uh, that was good. That was a good game from Tough Krieger. Sticks and Final Sky. Was this... You guys were talking about this in chat. I see your game, Sticks. Is what somebody said in chat. I don't know. I don't rightly know. Huh. Sticks and stones breaking Protoss bones, says Lucky Noob. Sticks is in chat. Six is in chat. My DT insecurity grows stronger. All right, cool. Let's go. A ZVP on Citadel featuring Sticks against the Final Sky. Sticks is a blue collar man and a renegade. Boom, 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 boom. All right, bottom left, it's Styx. He's orange Zerganate. Bottom right is a Protoss named Final Sky. 200 APM here from Final Sky. Styx is rocking about 100 at this stage. No, it's fine. Oh. Oh, Cross sent me a replay. After the stream started. Cross, I love you, Cross. I don't know. I don't know if we could fit you into this one, Cross. Maybe... Mm, we already have 10 replays. Hey, Baron Starker. The new maps are interesting, man. What's the one... God, I always forget the names. The one where you're up the right side, right? You're up the right side, and there's that narrow kind of high ground path up there. I always forget what that map is called. Anyway. Anyway, what are we doing? Overpooling? Sure. Overpooling. Into an expansion here. Very f safe. Forge expand. To get them cannons out. Blitz Y! Thank you, Sticks. Oh, I can't remember that map name of Blitz Y. It's because. I don't know. I will remember it from Final Fantasy VI and Sabin's Blitz attacks. See you later, Lings. That's how, how I will remember it. Yeah, Blitzy is a crazy map, dude. TY in the round of 24 did this crazy proxy factory thing on the far left side of the map. Because you don't need to send... Like, you're not scouting with your overlord on the left side to see where your opponent is because he's on the right side, right? 
Crazy. Crazy sneaky stuff. Fast third base here, too, from Styx. I like it. I'm always a big, 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 big fan of getting a fast third base against the Protoss, especially if they went Forge first. So, excellent, excellent response here. I'm on board. Domo arigato. What's up, Troy? Yeah, StarCraft 2 players making their way over to Brood War is pretty interesting. I mean, Brood War players have had their time in StarCraft 2 as well. Jadong, Flash. Both of those dudes had their time in StarCraft 2 back in the Wings of Liberty days. They we're pretty dang good, gotta say. Spire on the way. Please don't make mutalisks, but you know, do your do your own thing. Macro hatch coming in. And our first Corsair is on the way, says let us attack. Gonna get an overlord kill. Yeah, you're probably not wrong, Toy Cop. TUI ruined it for everybody else. Sniffly, 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 sniffly. Man, I was hoping. It is Scourge. I don't see any Mutalisks in the production tab. Look, for Scourge... Oh, that was a pretty good juking by Final Sky. I was going to say, for Scourge really should be able to kill a Corsair in that position, but... The Jukes! The jukes were too friggin' good, man. Yeah, me too, Richard Button. I like going back and watching old VODs from Heart of the Swarm and Wings of Liberty stuff. It's interesting. I wish I could cast old replays, but nobody's found a way to allow that to happen. Because the current client will not load anything older than, like, two years. Sometimes... Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. See you later, Zerglings. Again... DTs, they one-shot your guys, so the your under-attack notification is not heard when DTs are in there murdering your stuff. Unless they attack Hydras, and then you get the notification, because they don't one-shot Hydralisks. But, oh, there's an, okay, there's Overlords here, too. So, Overlords, Hydras, I don't know, I'm sure what that DT was trying to do. We got a drone kill. Yeah, fine, I guess. It has a lot of macro hatcheries, Nibbler. You are correct. What is this? There's one, two macros. Another macro. No macros in the main base, which I find interesting. But Storm's coming in. Who's the play? Larva. Larva loves his macro hatches. High Templar are out. I mean, a lot of Zerg players love their macro hatches. But I think Larva might be the one that I've cast the most who has a million macro hatches. What's up, Alexander? Welcome back to the stream of the Sunday variety. What, 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 what? Hey, there we go. Storm is out. Hydras are tough. I know, Pi. I know. I still miss things. Observing and casting, it is a struggle, but you know, doing my best over here. Third base, warping in from final sky, but I don't know, I kind of feel like as a Protoss player, once you have Storm, you're like, well, I'm good for a while. I am pretty strong, up until the point that I start seeing Plague Ooh tossed upon my units and Dark Storms popping up all over the place. Yeah, like, Hydra Lurker's good, it really is, but... There we go. Storm, storm. Pretty good split on these lurks. Not bad at all. And again, the high Templar count is enough to just kind of blanket this entire... There it is. Have the storm stopped? Yes, they have stopped. No! No! Yes, at least die with a storm coming out. You there! You have two storms! Get Use your friggin' storms! There it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't think... I don't think that attack paid for itself at all in the least little bit not even close that was like 40 dead hydras man but that's why zerg has uh, the three bases is because you need to replace the stuff that dies fourth base coming in yeah and the, yes the worst is when your drones are dt dropped on t pi exactly 
cast a couple games like that recently, I want to say on the channel, where there have been DT drops, one-shotting drones, and the Zerg's like, none the wiser, man. Once again, what does the Protoss have here? Storm. Big smiles. Did he skip observers? No. He's got an observatory. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. Hey, monster. It, yeah, Daylight Savings was last week. So this is the same start as last week's time. Ah, Styx is like, I didn't know this third base was here. Oh, you got a scout. You must... You must check for ninja bases, and even not really ninja bases, because this is not really a ninja base. This is a pretty standard third base location. You know, as you do. I like the fourth base here. It's minerals only, but mm, it's good. It's good. We'll take it. I'd love to see you take this. If you feel like you've got the player contained, which, sort of. I mean, what all those... Did he turn all of his High Templar into Archons already? Really don't want to start doing that. Oh gosh, storm drop. Pretty good. What'd you get down here, guy? Two kills. Eh. Could have been better. Shuttle gets wiped out. Hydras are around. Good anti-air for sure. Yeah, see, Nibbler agrees. Nibbler says, agree. Dropper Lords? Maybe. Ooh. Yeah, it's just... Here's the thing. Dragoons are actually okay against this Hydra Lurker stuff until Dark Swarm pops out. So, we can't skip Dark Swarm because Dark Swarm invalidates the presence of Dragoons almost entirely. And then suddenly, you have to go more Zealots, Archons, High Templar, Reavers, right? And you still have answers as a Protoss player once that happens. Overlord's like, oh, you do have a third base. Supply blocked. <laughs> Corsair hunting really wants to kill like all three of these Overlords. Ah, it's a position. It's a Hydra Lurker spot here. Hydras are not being microed at all. Where are the OBS? There's the OBS, but not on the right side. Oh, probe strats for you up. Ooh, he escapes. Good job, dude. Damn it. Zealots. Zelotes. Consume is on the way. Okay, but seriously, there we go. <laughs> Archons, attack something. I need you to actually get in there and get on those hiders and attack them. I know they're hitting you hard because shields take full damage from everything. The one thing about Archons, they have a ton of HP, but they are all shields that takes full damage from everything that can touch them. Everything that can touch them. This lurker position is hilarious. Final Sky still hasn't bothered wiping these out for some reason. Uh, yes, yes, correct, Nibbler. Uh, Zerg's lost a lot of supply today for almost nothing. It hasn't been great. Still, 61 drones. That's the thing about Zerg. You can be cost inefficient. That's the whole point. You have more bases. You have more production capabilities. You can make more stuff more quickly. So you can afford to lose more stuff for no reason. But it's, uh, it, there's a line there. You can't just keep losing, losing stuff for no reason until the end of time. Okay, but really, you gotta do something about these lurkers. You really gotta do something. Lucky Owl's not out in the woods today. Oh, the Scourger like, wait, you stopped? You have to like circle back around and take him down. <laughs> Stop sending probes up here. Stop doing it. This is a trap. This is a trap. Yes, indeed. Consume's been researched. We've heard some consumes. Behold these defilers. There you go. Full energy defiler. This one does not have full energy. This one has enough energy to do everything it needs to. Is it waiting for plague? Nope. It's going to go plop. Here it is. Plop. Defi okay, never mind. We're just going to send a handful of wings in here? 
That doesn't know. Like, maybe don't know. Maybe. Oh, all right. Okay. So we're just, um, just donated those lings to the cause. A plague! Ooh! Finally, a plague goes down. The filers wiggling themselves here at the front. Another good plague. There we go. Sick plagues. And a Dark Swarm comes up. The storm is good. It's a chaotic battle here, but Dark Swarm plus plague plus lurkers plus sunkens plus lings plus hydras. All that stuff was required to shove this Protoss back, man. Those were some insane plagues. Insane plagues. Yeah, and now the Dragoons are just getting bullied. And um, six is up like 15 supply. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Hey, bad SC player. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Enjoy your busy day. Zealots rocking their way into this fifth base. L oh, killing a defiler before they get wiped out by these lurkers. And a couple drones, too. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> I like the plague and then the immediate follow-up. I like this one lurker who has some plans. And those are... To die. All right. Interesting. Ooh, base top right here for final sky. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Drone count, 66. Okay, magic number of 66 has happened. What's up, Savior Sword? Uh, e excuse me. Uh, yes. Yes, Savior Sword. Accurate estimation, sir. Dark Swarm. Fighting outside of the Dark Swarm, but the storms are coming down anyway, folks. Consumes those lings because they were going to die anyway. They were gonna die anyway. Holy cannoli. Alright, Defiler on a mission. Order 66. Wait, there's some betrayal going on here? Okay, look, I like you lings a lot against this largely Dragoon army, but... Ah, Defiler wanted to get a plague down there so bad. Maybe even a Dark Swarm. That would have been nice. Dude, expanding again. Final Sky. Final Sky is out expanding the Zerg player. That's not how you want to do. It's really not how you want to do. Yeah, Overlord going down. It's, uh, still 133 supply here from Sticks to 119 from Final Sky. But Final Sky takes a plague. He needs more zealots. More zealots with this group. Lurkers that are not burrowed are okay. Man, plus three Dragoons tear through Lurkers. The Nidus is really the only saving grace of this base right now. Although there are some burrowed lurkers and uh, there is an obs here though, actually. Never mind. Final Sky has an obs here. He's gonna focus down the lurker. There we go. Zealots in here, hacking away at these drones. He knows his time is limited. He knows lings are coming to ruin him. And he gets a few drones. Still 67 workers from sticks, though. That is pretty dang good. Why are we just walking stuff into this? Uh, I probably would save your sword. Hey, what's up, Miguel? So, Zerg late game the hardest. Do you mean Zerg late game the hardest to play or to play against? That's my question. I feel like maybe you're saying to play against, but I don't know. Ooh! Ooh! Hot! Ooh! Oh! Yeah! Oh gosh! Okay! Alright! Yeah! That hurts! It's still hurting! Hide the pain, Harold face. JPG. Oh my gosh. Oh, now you're under attack. Now you're under attack. Like, I know 
this stuff is happening. This is fine. But this DT... Oh, get up here, man. Get up here, man. I like how we brought an Overlord and some Hydra, then it wasn't enough to kill our guy here. Dan the Dark Templar, who is boss moding his way through this entire base solo. We're gonna get this extractor too. Oh wait, he's distracted by the presence of these drones, which he should be. This ongoing never ending battle is never ending. No one's making any progress here either. Dude, drones might have to take this into their own hands. Dude, there's no way. Okay, he's dead. But, ooh, he's trying to micro, can't do it, can't do it. Okay. <laughs> Dark swarm up, lurkers are like, okay, we have to, how do you still have 61 drones? The drone replacement has been amazing from sticks today. Hatch saved because zealots. Behold the power of zealots in this game. Not bad. Look at all. Oh, particularly sniping down that defiler. Sick stuff. Yeah. Zealots inside the dark swarm. We were born inside dark swarm. You were merely adopted by it. Oh, some zealot archon came up here and wiped out this base of sticks. And is making a move up to this area. To More drones have died, guys. Don't worry, don't worry. We're down to 56 drones now. And this base has come up. And, oh, some lings wiped out the top right base. This base is alive. Okay, this is all sorts of chaotic. How did six lurkers die to zealots? Uh, because zealots are good? Zealots are tanky boys, that's why. Because they have three, two upgrades. And the lurkers have three, two upgrades. You're right. You are correct. It should not be a thing. Six lurkers forgot that they're supposed to live underground. Yeah, that's about right. Once again, just kind of throwing units over here, trying to make it happen. It doesn't really happen, though. Gosh, how many kills does this Zealot have? Four, five. Man, Zealots with plus three attack, three shot drones. And DTs one shot them. DTs are horrible, dude. They're strong. I'm not sure that Styx knows about this base either. We had to ask Styx. Do you know about that six o'clock base? Styx would be like, I did not know about that six o'clock base. More lurkers dying all over the place. See you later, Defiler, but wait! Cracklings are here with plus one attack, hacking away at one of your nexuses. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh no! It's Dan the Dark Templar Part 2, he's back! He's been raised from the dead to bring havoc and pain to all Zerg players everywhere. Ah, yeah. Six is like, I did not know about the six o'clock base. It made me mad when I found out about it. All right. The Lings do take this Nexus down. So that's good. Sticks is giving as good as he's getting here, kind of. He's down to 38 drones, though. Oh. Oh, 38 drones to 53 probes. Not good. Really not good. Yes, Alexander, it does. Mm, shield battery. Okay, Final Sky says, in order to win this game, I will need to secure shield batteries to heal up my probes, I guess, while they're under attack. That seems like a fine idea. Oh, oh, Zergling did it! Zergling found the base! Takes us like, hey, what's up? This lurker is too smart to go down there. hanging out. I know, shield batteries are good, but they're used to heal up units that are attacking for the Protoss. Not necessarily probes? I don't know, man. Yeah, one zealot, says Nibbler. Exactly, but there's not one zealot here. We have shield batteries defending cannons and 
probes. Run, run drones. Run, evac. This DT got wiped out. Yes, he got dis He got discovered and killed. Another hatch down. See? And then you just show up with Dark Swarm and some stuff. And the shield batteries are providing you with no value at all. This base just straight up dies. That's it. See you later, alligator. Big engagement over here at this uh, mined out minerals only base from Styx. That is a lot of Zealots and Dragoons, and there's High Templar in here, and Final Sky's been good with the storms today. It's another one. He's like, mm, do I want to storm a single or a pair of Hydras? I don't know. Plague. It really is insane how much easier it is to take down this kind of a Protoss death ball when you have Plague on it. Really is insane. Look at these Dragoons. Look how much red there is here. Yeah, man. Dragoons are dying so fast. Base dead. Storm good unit. High Templar, five kills, four kills, four kills. Four kills on that Archon. Maybe they're from when he was a High Templar, but who knows. What's up, Phil? Happy Sunday, Phil. My Tier 3 sub out on Twitch. How's it going, sir? Hope you're having a good day. Is it a day off? I hope it's a day off. You deserve days off. Everybody does at some point. Argon? Mm, a lot of that. The death of that Archon was thanks to Storm, but hey. Trade-offs, right? Okay, so this little group gets killed. It is 133 to 76 supply, though. Final Scott, he is really pretty good at being in multiple places at once here. He really is. These zealots need to attack something, but I don't... Not sure that he knows it needs to do that. Oh, oh man. Argon's like, Hydroden. There we go. There we go. I think Stick might just be dead. This drone count was so happy and healthy. It really was. It was insanely happy and healthy for a minute. Now bad things are happening. Bad things to the drones. Really some impressive macro here from Vinyl Sky. He has consistently been producing and sending. He has not given Styx hardly any moments to breathe at all. Yeah, man, Styx has income at the 12 o'clock base, and that's it right now. I mean, not that Final Sky is on fire. He has this base, and that's it right now. And Styx is taking the 6 o'clock. Man, this might just be everybody's low econ. And somebody's got to win. Just because someone's econ is worse than the other person's econ, you know? Like, really, Styx is not in a good place, but I think Final Sky is in a worse place. He's got more army value, right? He's at 140 to 61 supply. This army not doing anything is a major problem. Oh, my gosh. Sell it inside the mineral line. He's got plus three attack, guys. Uh, good luck killing him. And the six o'clock base is going to get canceled or killed. Okay, remember when I was like, Styx is on two bases. Nope, not anymore. GG, well played, and Final Sky gets the win. Yo! GG, what a bloodbath. Back and forth there. But economically, it was the DTs, it was the constant attacks on expansions by Final Sky that got him that win. He outproduced the Protoss 8 to 3, but 3 to 1 kill death ratio here. Man, if cost-efficient stuff there from the Protoss. A lot of that is drones, too. 
GG, man. Sticks, thanks for sending in a loss. That's always awesome when somebody's like, that was such a good game, I gotta send it in anyway. It must be seen by the people. And really, this is the bigger problem, right? Only 10,000 resources in 31 minutes. Remember when the last game was uh, 9,000 resources in 23 minutes. This is only 1,000 resources more in 31 minutes. It's just not gonna be enough. Not gonna be enough. All right. Next up, what are we gonna do here? We've got uh, Safo Paggy versus B Gallons. What's up, B Gallons? B Gallons is here, right? Yeah, he was in. He was in the. Ch he was in the chat. Hmm. Hang on a second. Let me look at something here. Anyway, happy Sunday, everyone. Hope you're having a fantastic one. It's been good so far. We've had some really, really good games. And people sending in losses, too. Gotta appreciate that. They start about one ish Eastern time. Gallons is here, but I don't know. I might have wandered away for a minute. Do a diddy diddy dum diddy do 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 do. I know that song. Hey, Corey. St. Patrick's Day is today. You're right. Gallons it is. That's a, that's a catchy one, Richard, for sure. Okay, Polypoid. Gallons against some Protoss. I don't know if this is part of the... I'm not sure, rather, if this is part of the Falcon Paladin Discord community server tournament or not. But it doesn't matter. It's going to be top right, Sappho Paggy, who's a Terran player. And in the bottom right, it's Gallons. Uh, B Gallons in particular. Beer gallons. PVT here for you. Hype, 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 hype. And it's a green Terran player in honor of St. Patrick's Day. Hooray! Scouting about, not gonna find anything that way. SCV scouting, not cross spawn scouting. Nope, scouting bottom right. And is gonna find some Protoss up here. Scouting first is nice, Artosis says in TVP. You scout the Protoss early and just know that there's a Zealot coming. Or no, there's not a Zealot. It really helps you a lot. Artosis believes in the power of scouts. Yep, see, now you know, you pull an SCV, you get Marines. Oh, the kind of worked. Yeah, good enough. Lost a Marine, killed a Zealot and a Probe, fair trades. The math maths there quite nicely. SCV, like, hmm, you gonna block? It's time to expand. Yeah, Probe fights. Probe fights. 
Dragoon says, no, I don't want to fight against... I do, I do actually, I do want to fight here against a an SCV. Achilles! Well, welcome back to the StarCraft. Achilles Pinto. And Simon's back. What's up, Simon? Sent in the wrong replay. What? Did you know? Did you know? Oh, okay. Oh, we're moved commanding Marines. Okay, there we go, I guess. Oh, Siege Tank shows up too. Yeah, they're talking about this on ASL as well. How you can kind of do this against Protoss if they're going to expand is just make Marines with your bunkers or your barracks, get a Siege Tank, and you can show up and the Protoss should only have like four gateway units. And you can usually get some damage done with it. Professional, oh my gosh, that tank's alive, but probes take it down. Probes take down the siege tank. All the Marines are dead, so there's nothing to put in the bunker. Dude, this vulture though, okay, so, um. Okay, the spider mines are actually pretty sick here too. Oh gosh, big hits. He's trying to, oh, he's trying to do the Bisu micro, it's tough. It's tough, Gallons. It's really tough, man. There's nothing to spoil for ASL. There's round of 24 stuff to spoil for ASL, RJB. There is, though. Don't die with your spider mines. Sa no, throw your spider mines. Oh, my gosh. He high-grounded that Dragoon. Oh, my gosh. Spider mine. Spider mine. Okay, fine. If I guess if it's been a week, can't spoil. Dude, you know what would have been insanely good if there were Marines in this bunker, though? Siege mode next and a second machine shop for Vulture Speed, I guess. Spider Mines up, Siege Tank here, no bunker or anything. But no detection for these Dragoons either on the way up. What's up, Jeff H? Yeah, Green definitely messed up on the push. That could have been. My gosh. Keeping a couple Marines alive and dumping them in that bunker would have been so good. Good, but they all died instead. Also, Vulture's dying with a full complement of spider mines is really, really tough stuff. Okay, Siege Mode is up. Dragoon Pressure not happening anymore. Neat stuff. Continue onwards, Captain. Yeah, I know, Corey. I'm with you, dude. So Protoss says, Gallons in particular says, oh man, this is all the meta too, right? All the meta. Make Dragoons, couple Zealots, get up to Reavers, and go Reaver the Terran's face real fast. Like, yeah, like about eight minutes. This is pretty good timing from Gallons, considering how hectic the first few minutes of the game were. Problem is, no oh, good hit. Was good. Oh, he didn't lose that. Okay. Yeah, this is why, as a Terran, oh, he sends in the Zealot to absorb the shots, and then, oh, good hit. SCV down. Tank takes some damage. I like it. I like it a lot. And then Sappho Paggy says, "I'm just gonna ignore these siege, these." Okay, just running past, run past the dragoons. Then that's totally fine. I like this patrol path. It is not quite the smallest patrol path I've ever seen, but it's like the second smallest one I've ever seen. Oop, oop, 
Oop, oop. I'm gonna get sick from just turning around like that that fast. So this is really scary for Gallons all of a sudden, man. This is okay. These guys need to not die to dragoons. These need to kill zealots. Okay, we're gonna try to zealot bomb these tanks because this is an intense number of tanks to show up at 10 minutes. They oh dear, are obliterating dragoons as hard as they can. Okay. Okay, Zealot Bombs reavering in here too. Gets a hit off. Dragoons come from out of nowhere on the left side. And we force the tanks to unseat. So now Reavers and Dragoons are more effective. Okay, this was actually pretty well executed by Gallons. Spider Mine should have been laid like a million years ago, but they can be pretty tough if you're trying to also deal with Zealot Bombs. Right? Ow. Vulture should be able to make donuts. I agree. Six kill Dragoon is not bad. I mean, seven kill Dragoon. Even if they're just spider mines, I'll take those as kills. All right. Fine. So a couple times. Green has shown up. And tried to ruin Gallons, and Gallons is like, no, I will not fall. We will not die this day. Not here, not now. And he zealot bombed. He brought in Dragoons. He forced the Unsiege. He used the Reaver to good effect, too. I think the Reaver might have actually died. Or did it? That looks like a brand new Reaver to me. I think it might have died. No. No, just kidding. Reaver's up here now. Ooh, we got scans happening, folks. So what are we scanning? Down here? Yes, that was weird. That scan like showed the little tiny probe and the nexus. More scans to see how many dragoons are up here. Not that many. Not that many. Nope, it's a kitty attack on stream. Here they come. Also, Mega Falcon is here. Oh, it's Ollie. Saying hello. Oh, good job, though. Is it nice? Vulture's trying to murderize a Nexus as it warps in. That's right. Hit the like button for the kitties. Toy Cop is correct. Alright. Goliath's being added in. We have, a uh, How many likes do we have on the stream right now? 56. Not bad. So far, so good. Oh. Mega Falcon said if we get 70 likes, we'll get a visit from Belle, the other kitty, in the Falcon Paladin house. Anyway, Goliaths are here for anti-air purposes against OBS, against Arbiters. I don't know if we're going to see any carriers here, but the carrier tech switch is always, always a potential thing here. Siege tanks moving down. Siege tanks moving down. High ground positioning it here. The pressure is real. No. Dragoon's getting dragged into this position. Not what they want to do. Really never what they want to do. Third base is on fire, but it's a lie from Gallant. It's a big deal, but the third base is already done from Paggy here. Oof. Dragoon's waiting. Waiting for the Unsiege and waiting for the move down. And then we attack from here. And we attack from here for the pincer move. I think that's what the plan is right now.
There it is. Like I said, swinging on down. Kicking butt, taking names, coming in from different directions. Reaver in the mix. Ah, dies to siege tanks. Maybe to that Goliath. I don't know. Daniel AF is having a good time hearing Protoss die. Siege tanks are also dying. Six kills and two kills, man. Ugh. Six kill tank dies. He was the biggest threat. More spider mines out. And there's nothing in that shuttle. He's a lonely, lonely shuttle for sure. Yeah, man. Gallons. Good pincering. Nice from Gallons, coming up the right side. Coming up the right side, what's up Dark Soldier? What's up Jirlanu Alexandru? I don't know, there's not a lot here. I guess there's not a lot on this attacking party either from Gallons. What does he have by upgrades? No upgrades for the Protoss. It is 1-1 one, one upgrades for the mech. For the mechy mech. Gallon's floating some cash here. Doing a big old probe transfer down to this third base. This is probably an oversaturation. There's already 10 workers here. He's bringing in like 15. Okay, major oversaturation here on this third base. Natural base. I mean, I guess it just that's the how you know he need this. So he's getting this. Fair enough, man. Uh, yeah, Corey, there is a pets tab in the Discord server. People post pictures of their pets. And other random, random assorted animals, I think. That's been happening, too. Red pandas find their way in there sometimes. Dragoons on the move out, maybe. Perhaps, 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 perhaps. Dragoons getting down into that third base. Where are your cannons, Gallons? Where did they go, Red Pandas, RJB? Well, kind of solved the oversaturation problem down here at the third base anyway. 36 probes on the map. Nothing at the third. Nothing at the fourth. Okay, one probe at the third, and we're coming back to the third, too. Nothing at the fourth. That was funny. Are red pandas fancy possums? Uh, I don't know. That's a great question. Um, I don't think they're related to possums, though. No. All right, man. So, good job, Gallons. He's up. One base on the Terran player. He's killed a bunch of tanks already. So, the tank count is not massive here at 20 minutes. That's good. Like, these are all great things that have been happening for Gallons. He's getting Arbiters, he's getting Stasis. That also seems pretty nice. And he's expanding down the bottom left side here too. So, so far so good out of Gallons. I think he has weathered the early storm here. He still doesn't have any upgrades. Okay, why is Gallons running with no upgrades? Ow. Ah! Vulture drop inside the main and at the natural base, too. And there's finally a cannon at the third base to try to shut this thing down. But, uh, worker count is 16 for gallons. Uh, 
Uh, so Gallons has went from a fantastic position all the way down to the, like, 16 probes. Yes. No, Cory, they're red pandas. They're not rat pandas. I think RJB misheard me or he's making the jokes. Okay, Gallons, you have five nexuses. You can replace your worker count pretty effectively. You also have a decent army, too. A recall would be super hot. I don't know if that's in the plans or not. A cross, yeah. You did send that replay in after the stream started, which is not exactly how I like to do things. Okay, that was a good storm drop, but for you, Cross, I think we can find some time to sneak you into the live replay section of the stream. But only because it's Cross. Okay, RJB can get away with it too. Not many other people can though, the list is short. Land? Is there something under this? No. All right. Sapo just flies over and doesn't land. Gallons! Gallons, let's go. Yeah, attack into this third base. Great stasis. Low ground siege tanks causing problems. I'd honestly focus the command center down. Look, if these guys had attack upgrades, this command center would already be dead. But instead, it's able to flee while it's on fire back into the main base. No, oh, the Arbiter gets a stasis off. It gets focus fired by the Goliaths and murderized. Yeah, I'm telling you, 2-2 two, two upgrades versus Z. Okay, Gallons loses this game. I'm going to blame the upgrades almost entirely. Almost entirely. The other thing are these Vulture drops and Vulture runbys that keep killing probes. But check out Gallons. He's back up to 46 probes. I told you he can recover that probe count. Gallon's macro is impressive, and then he kills a hundred more SCVs over here. Cross, thanks for the $5 super chat, man. And thanks for the replays. Love you too, dude. Be sure to check out Cross. WK Cross, he's on YouTube. He streams on Twitch. He multi-streams like I do. So follow WK Cross. He is awesome. Yeah, Mondays and Tuesdays. <laughs> Siege tanks, Goliaths pushing on this fourth base of gallons. Not a lot of zealots here. Siege tanks are getting some massive shots off. Gallons is working on plus one attack. Just not here yet. Ooh, is he zealot bombing? Yeah, then he comes in and zealot bombs. Dude, Gallons is making some miracles here. Like taking positions that I really think should not go well for him. And he's somehow making it work. Zero, zero upgrades against plus three mech. Plus three mech. Keep going. Keep going. Drones can pretty much do that too, Daniel. There's the super chat. No, there's enough Protoss to do this. Zealots, man. They have that natural one armor. That's helping, I guess. Seriously, what the heck is going on? Gallon should have been dead like five times in this game. Though, I don't know. Reinforcements! <laughs> Reinforcements are here. Oh! And the Terran taps out and Gallons wins it. With all of a plus one attack upgrade that he finished up like 10 seconds ago, I think. That was insane. Uh, two more likes, so we get another kitty visit. My goodness. Yeah, that was a work apocalypse for both sides. But yes, Gallon's going from 16 probes all the way back up to like 56. 
in almost no time at all, it felt like, was insane. Good game, Gallons. Who needs upgrades, apparently? Not Protoss. Protoss does not need upgrades, everybody. So look how crazy this number is for a PVT. Got outproduced, but barely. Outkilled, but barely. This should not have been... Should not have been a win. I guess the resources are pretty good here. Ugh. Ugh. That's amazing. Hey, we did it. We did the thing. All right. What's next on the replayoramas? Yeah, we got 74 likes. Looking good. We've got a kitty visit coming in next. Okay, RJB replay time. After we get some kitty. There she is. The screamer is here. There it is. There it is. Oh, she's too happy. Ah. Getting claws all up in my hoodie. Aw, she's purring. Aw, she is purring. That's nice. All them beans. That's right, Daniel. Alright, see ya, kitties. See you later, kitty cats. All right, what's the play? Brain it is. RJB sent this in and was like, what's up? We gotta do this brain 3v3. Brain is a monster. Okay, here we go. Not left versus right, but it's close. Look at all these same similar colors. Ah. Uh. All right, fine. Purple Protoss, team one, Gamja fan. His teammate, bottom right, is a pink Terran player, Zhang Yun Li. And then we've got, what is this again? DRT in the bright side, who's a Protoss. Team two is 0909, Brownzerg Zerg player, Vival, Vival de Vida, who's a Zerg player, bottom left. And uh, H who's a Protoss. So we got some Zerg, got some Protoss, got one Terran represented here. I don't know who Brain is. Can we assume it's the highest APM though? That it's DRT at 400 APM. Nine Protoss is Brain. Oh, H is Brain. At 150 APM, never mind. Take it back. Yes, double cats. We have the two cats, so they could play with each other and not get so lonely. And not bug me when I'm trying to work. <laughs> oh, Monster says Vivald Vida is me. Monster's in this game too? Looking good, Monster. Very cool stuff. Zerging it up, as usual. Hatch firsting in this game too. A little risky, but not too bad. Three gates opening. I gotta step away for a second, get a Coke Zero refill, but I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. says they both bothered you when you're trying to work hmm yeah that plan did not work out for you did it okay be right back
Do -do. <laughs> Alrighty then, who's getting attacked? Looks like we're heading down for Terran. Young Lee down in the bottom right. But there's a vulture out. One vulture microed well, surprisingly good. A settler. Thanks for resubbing with Prime for four months in a row. This sub is sponsored by Coke Zero and Bezos Bucks. Heck yeah. Heck yes it is. There's nothing in this bunker? How is there nothing in this bunker? No! No! Okay. Got cleared out thanks to the support here from DRT. His neighbor. Got a big zealot attack swinging down towards Monster here in the bottom left. Sunken's up. Beautiful. Sim sitting. Okay. Usually the hatches want to be down here. See how the zealots are just kind of like getting right on top of the sunken, but sunken covering sunken is not bad either. I don't think that's a terrible idea. Right, now the counter to the vultures. It's a lot of zealots out of DRT, man. On the offensive against Brain here, but he's got cannons to fall back to. He's got his own zealots. I'm not really participating. There they are. Now getting up to these front lines. It's a pretty intense display. But cannons are helping to thin out this zealot. My gosh, they're thinning it out. But cannons, wow. Does he have upgrades or something? No, he's unupgraded zealots, guys. Not bad units. Gallons supported. Defensive Desperation DTs are in here. That's all that is keeping this alive right now, is DTs out of brain. Holy Hannah. Yeah, and now the DTs can be used against... No, wait. Hydras are friends. Hydras are friends. And then, oh, he's like, well, the viability of these DTs is now over. What's up, Critter? Viability of the DTs is over. I guess now we're making a Dark Archon. No, we're going to make more DTs, though. Mind Control on the way at six minutes. Holy cannoli, Batman. Big Hydra push here with Monster. And 0909 going against Zhang Yun Li. Once again, all the zealots known to mankind here, known to Protoss kind from Gamja fan. Here, ready to rock, kicking butt, and taking names. Oh, Siege Tank drop on him. Okay, that's what he was talking about. <laughs> I thought he was talking about the attack bottom right. No, he got Siege Tank sieged up in his base, but he seems okay. Okay, he's still got 38 probes. This attack was dealt with by Zealots. Man, Zealots are good. It says five. So this is five. Mm hmm. Feedback research even before mind control. That is true, monster. I missed that. I did not look at the production tab that quickly. It's making another Dark Archon. Is Bryn going mass Dark Archon or something? I mean, it's pretty good against drops. Monster playing with the pros, says Critter. Monster says, I was crying the whole time. <laughs> Understandably so. Gamja fan comes in. Feedback goes down. Did he unload the High Templar and it got feedbacked? 
That is some sick timing. There's a tiny window between when the High Templar's unloaded before it storms when you can feedback it. Brain is a monster. True facts, yo. Wow. Ooh, got a wraith out. A little Overlord Hunty Hunty here. Siege tank drop. Heading top left against Gamja Fan. Is he gonna... Mm, cannon placement's pretty good. You going in there or what? Ah, cannon's coming up on the far wall here from Gamja Fan too. Is this a drop? No, same team. Yes, Lucky Owl. If you mind control a transporting unit, you get the stuff inside it as well. Okay, or you just kill the shuttle. That totally works. High ground siege tanks, man. High ground siege tanks in range of cannons, though. <laughs> Not as good. Okay, all right. The mischance was really useful in that situation. And Wraith's still out here busting down overlords. I like it. Oh, you got a storm drop off. Okay. Another good storm there, too. Okay, so Nox Gamja fan down to 40 probes, but mm, pretty good probe pull nevertheless. A bunch of probes did die, but it wasn't apocalyptic. Sounds like a pretty good day, Anth. This high ground siege tank is still high grounding it. What a boss. Absolute boss of Rooney here. Nick L? Nick T? You're talking about Nick T? Brain says, enough of you throwing up cannons across my wall. I'm going to punch you in the face. Mm, Monster's here. He's not really participating, though. Monster has other places to go, apparently. Ah, you're putting ball in a bag. Why are you doing that? Hmm, I guess so. Yeah, PJ. Yep. With the checkerboard and the map and the stuff. Yes, sir, Bob. It's like Jing Hyun is trying to get a big old drop. Losing a couple of his dropships immediately. Is he coming in to help defend his guy? We've got to do it now. I don't know if he was planning on doing an offensive drop there, but now it's a defensive drop. That's so nice. And your teammate shows up with a bunch of siege tanks to defend your front door. When you're kind of getting overrun, that's beautiful. That is just friendship is magic type stuff. Did Monster get dropped? Sorry, Monster. Missed the drops in your face. There have been a lot of drops in this game, though. Look, it's more drops. Brain's moving out. Pretty much losing everything immediately. Good defense there by Zhang Yun, though. Holy cow.
Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, audio goes out sometimes. He's back now, though. Pretty good hold from 0909. We don't have Cat Jam or Terran Jam here. Or Sag. These are true facts. We should have Cat Jam. We do have cats, though. I think. Man. It's a Dragoon High Templar drop on these tanks. Wiping out Jang Hyun's siege tanks in the house. Gam Defense got High Templar. To Defense. Le Defense. <laughs> I'm going to mute the mic, then yes. But I, like, the desktop audio got muted too. That's a heck of a committal to a mute for sure. Yeah, man, this is Valkyries, this is dropships, this is shuttles. This is a lot of crazy fastest map stuff going on. Storm drop! Huge hits on 0909, taking them down to 16 drones compared to Monster here with 90 drones. That's a pretty stark difference. Gotta say. Dude, Disruption Web's getting researched over here by Brain. He's doing all of the crazy stuff. He wants to drop so bad. This is a drop. This is a mass drop central setup here. He's going for it. He's going for it on Gamja. Disruption web to get. Oh, okay, fine. Disruption web going down. Storm all over the everything. I don't even know. Did he kill some probes there? Probably. Yeah, just still at 47 workers, but he just lost his main nexus. His secondary nexus is not longer this world against these plus two zealots and archons. And this might be the death of Gamja fan. How does he still have 45 probes? Because they're all hiding down here. That's how that was a massive killer drop. With disruption web by brain. Absolutely sick. Sick, sick, sick stuff here, man. Uh, a lot of Zerg died. I guess it's sort of a tank contained here on 0909. And the follow-up drop by DRT, though. Drone evac, pretty good. Could have been better. Down, still got 23 drones. High Templar doesn't have enough energy for another storm. Dude, all of his nexuses are dead. That, ugh, dead in the water. Dead in the water here. Did Brain get dropped? Brain apparently got dropped as well. By who? I don't know. But Monster has a nice little Guardian. Oop. Guardian Devour Hydra Army. He's going to try to push on Jang Hyun Lee. This siege tank pressure on 0909 is pretty darn intense. Guardians wiping out missile turrets. Devourers final fired away on a barracks. Really all they can do here. But on the other side, 3 2 siege tanks are crushing 0909. Did another drop come in? Yeah, another drop came in. Down to 18 drones. This might be the end of our Zerg player here. Is there enough? Okay, I don't know what these drop tubes are. Okay, the drop tubes are empty. I guess they're just providing vision for Jiang Hung Li here, possibly. Who's dropping brains successfully? That's what I want to know. And from where? Is it siege tanks or something? Do, 
So Brain's bringing an Arbiter along with this. Does he want to recall in here or stasis a thing? There you go. He stasis is a thing. So you can't repair them when they're in stasis and they can't attack or anything either. Upgrade might get denied here and it does. Nice denial of upgrade there from Monster. And... Gets a nice storm drop down there, too. Worker count for Jang Hyun is at 26, so there are a bunch of people who are hurting. Although, Gamja Fan, back up to 52 workers. He's got his Nexus back. That's absolutely bonkers. 0909, still at 18 workers. He's somehow managed to deal with all of this. I don't even know. The Guardians are getting wiped out because Valkyries are finally getting super hits there. Yeah, that storm was so strong it wiped out the audio for a minute. DRT is wandering High Templar into the base and they're all dying. There we go. Gets a storm off, but the pull was good this time. 16 drones remain from 0909. And the Devourers are here to kind of try to help with all of this anti-air. What's up, Jack? Valkyrie count, though, is kind of nuts. And they got 2-2 two, two upgrades, too. Devourers are at 1-1, one, one, so better upgrades here for the Valks. Not really, I mean, Valks are not intended to kill Devourers, exactly. But if you have enough of them... <laughs> Even if you're kind of directly countered by the thing, you're gonna be all right. Yeah, Devourers are support units. They're not really intended to deal damage. They just toss debuffs onto stuff and then something else is supposed to go in there. They take advantage of the debuff. Yeah, man, there's no, okay. So it looks like that was a drop attempt by DRT. Still 60 workers from Brain, though. He's alive. He is alive. Scout speed on the way. Because why wouldn't we get scouts if you're Brain in this game, right? Yes, thank you, monster. I know, dude. I'm aware I'm missing stuff. This is a crazy game with a ton of great players who are dropping constantly. Appreciate the feedback, though. Ah, Zealots Hydra is trying to bust down. Mm, no, too many siege tanks for that to really work. Once again, the death of 0909 seems... Seems imminent here. Okay, some feedbacks from Brain's Dark Templar. Trying to keep stuff alive here as much as Protossly possible. Scourge... Jason units out, it's abject chaos. And then a defensive Nidus here from Monster, helping defend his buddy 0909 as the drones go back to work. There are still zealots in here causing problems though. Man. This hive is about 40% health, but it does end up getting saved, which is nice. Whew! Monsters working on chitinous plating, anabolic synthesis, plague, Kyle. Thanks for the $25 super chat. Ooh. He wants another sneaky twofer. We could toss one of those up some point. Why not? Sneaky twofers are great. Recall! Here into Zhang Kyun's base, Zealot's Archon. Causing all sorts of problems here. Siege tank count is enough to handle it, though. Kyle says, if you match my donation of $25, I'll toss in another 10 bucks. Hmm. Free money's from Kyle. Very good stuff. Thank you so much, long time sub, long time channel member, Kyle. 
channel member and doing the super chats. Very, very cool stuff, man. Nice plague. He does get a plague off on some of these tanks before the defiler gets wiped out. So that's nice. Yeah, man. Absolute bloodbath on display. 0909 is at 14 drones. I think all of them are on the minerals right now because he really needs to get this drone count back up. But Gamja Fan is here, backed up by siege tanks from Zheng Hyun. Dark Swarm trying to keep stuff working. Hallucination is actually pretty popular in fastest maps. Really helps drops. Massive drop down this right side, man. Storms all over the place. Worker count from DRT is still 28, but definitely took some hits there. And Dark Swarm Hydra, really great against the Dragoons. Not as great against the Siege Tanks that do have plus three attack. And plus two armor. A recall on top of the Siege Tanks to try to wipe this position out. Archons and Zealots doing a pretty good job of that. Killing several of the Siege Tanks before they end up succumbing to the tank fire as well. But did push the tank line back. Defiler try to get a plague or a dark swarm up down there. Hey, what's up, Hector? <laughs> Thank you for the kind words, Hector. And hey, gracias. Once again, it's Brain here to help his Zerg buddy out. 0909. With Arbiters with Dark Archons. It's also a monster here to help his buddy out, this time with Lings and Ultralisks, with almost full upgrades, too. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, this is some abject chaos, without a doubt. I don't know. He's calling stuff out here, but I don't know... What brain is calling out? He's back up to 60 workers. I mean, everybody's pretty well. I don't know. I'm not sure if Monsters continues to get dropped here, and I'm missing it. It's got 31 drones. All down here into DRT's base. Defensive storms as the Archons are... Man, they should be going after these probes. Okay, that was a pretty good storm, though. Never you mind. Who even... That guy? It was probably that guy. DRT down to 40 workers. And 3-3 three, three lings here. 3-2 three, lings. A lot of Zerglings on defense. Yeah, no, Devourer do 25 damage on their own, but their attack rate is so dang slow. And the debuff is the splash, yes. Oh my god, another massive storm here. 0909, back down to 16 drones. They just need, I don't know, some spores here maybe. This pressure is absolutely crazy. Somebody just scanned Monster's base. Yeah, I know. I mean, 0909 has been effectively dead for the last 20 minutes.
This siege tank position. Yeah, tanks on the high ground, man. Hard to dislodge those guys. Corsairs versus Valkyries. A battle for the ages. Just kind of storm blanketing here, but I don't know. With sunken, not as good. Looks like we're just kind of trying to throw wings down here at Zhang Hyun's base all day long. Getting factories, getting machine shops, brains joining the party too, which is nice. Plague on Archons, they don't care about that stuff. Ultra is doing Zergling and Ultra type things here. Just the pressure from Gamja fans been nuts. 3 1 2 upgrades. There are no drones on minerals for 0909 right now. He has six workers. It's another drop here from Brain, another feedback. It looks like we got feedbacks of our own happening here from DRT now. Yeah, like chip chip chipping here at Zheng Hyun Li. Not doing a ton of work, but I don't know. Every unit producing facility you take down counts for something as far as I'm concerned. As I'm concerned. I mean, that's like insult to injury there. There weren't even that many drones. But hey, let's storm drop this guy anyway. The team defense of 0909 has really been quite legendary today. I, I mean, he should have been dead a long time ago. But the sheer stubbornness of monster and brain in keeping this dude alive is absolutely insane. Sending up more tanks, more Valkyries up to the front here to try to kill this Zerg player. Man, nobody's dead in 32 minutes. That's nuts. That's absolutely crazy. RJB says that's not monster, by the way. Interesting. We've got some contradictions in chat. Let's fight it out. Big plagued Valkyrie splashy splash, but the plague means you die pretty early. Yeah, Brain has been mind controlled for a while. He's got a drone now that I think Monster said he took from 0909. Okay, we're just storming empty mineral fields at this point. I think that's what that is. I think that's what that is. We're just storming empty mineral patches, dude. And Ultras versus Archons is in battle for the ages as well. Really tough to see who's going to come out on top there. Dragoons doing big, big hits against those Ultras. Also fantastic. Fifty-eight workers now from Monster bottom left. A Lurker Recall would be pretty sweet, but Brain's working on Guardians instead. Recalls in a bunch more defense here, setting up some cannons, actually, too. Which the Siege Tanks don't care about.
0909 at eight drones. He's just really not been able to participate in the defense of his own base for a while now. And that's tough, dude. These three, three siege tanks causing all sorts of problems. Guardians pushing up left side against Gamjafan, who's really kind of put all of his eggs into the killing the 0909 basket, which I don't want to count my eggs before they're hatched, but is this the end of 0909? He just recalled in some guardians, though. <laughs> Guardian recall. Let's go. Just got to get rid of these Valks, and the tanks are not going to be a problem to these Guardians. Also, these Reavers. So he recalls Guardians in defense. Continues the Guardian push here against Gamja Fan. I mean, they've got one one upgrade. This is actually pretty impressive at this stage of the game, dude. Storms trying to keep the Valkyries away. Brain is doing his absolute best here. Cool. That one's an attempt to drop in. Again, there are like seven drones on minerals, dude. Storming that is just mean. Is all that is. Hey, Max. Dark Evolution mod for Old Brutal. Nope. I haven't heard of that one. What's up, G22? Man, look at Jang Young defending Gamja, too. Like, the friend defense today is some of the best defense I've seen of a teammate, of teammates ever in the history of the channel, dude. Uh, probably John Doe. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Mine's like, screw top right. I'm going to build 6 o'clock. How's that sound? Great. Good. DRT says, Guardians are no match for my 333 Dragoons. I will kill them all. But, uh, nope. Zero, zero Lings are in here. I wonder if they have Adrenal. I bet they do. I bet these Lings are zero, zero Adrenal Lings for Brain. And then Monster adding his actually fully upgraded wings into the mix here. The Siege Tank defense is really all that's keeping Gamja alive here. Zhang Hyun being a good friend being a good enemy too, continuing to push. Is that a stasis on those drones to keep them alive? I bet it was. I bet that was a stasis. My goodness to gracious, man. Yeah, Gamja Fan and 0909 have both seriously pushed. Nice. Stasis is, but these Guardians will be back. And they've got 3 3 upgrades from Monster here. Guardians continuing to push in. Stasis. Yeah, this is not good. That's the sound of dead probes here. No splash damage, so they're getting killed one by one by one. Which is not great. 
But it's better than them all getting stormed at the same time. Actually, if none of them make it out, it doesn't really matter. Gamjo's down to seven probes, dude. That was a lot of concentrated single attack damage on those guys from these Guardians and these Dragoons and these Lings. That's tough. Gamjo fan breaks, which is something that his team could not do to 0909 this entire game. Because Brain's a monster. Right side setup of cannons is hilarious. It is dragging units over here instead of pushing up this way. Again, another stasis on these drones. Potentially to keep them alive? I don't know. 13 drones. All the income's happening down here to the south anyway. I mean, look, there's technically 0909 up there in the top right corner, but it um, there's no mining going on there at all. It's a mind-controlled overlord just for the lulls, I think. Did he mind control it because he needed detection? <laughs> it's like, I'm not waiting for 0909 to send this overlord down here for detection purposes. I don't know what these obs are doing, flying directly into Archon Devour. My gosh. Dude, the defense today, la defense of 0909 is banana pants. And finally, the high ground tank positioning here of Jang Hyun Lee appears to be largely taken care of. There are not enough Goliaths here to do this. I'm not sure what that was exactly from Jang Hyun. He's got a ton of cash, too. It's just, it's hard to compete with someone who has 330 available or supply, right? It is. It's really hard. Really difficult. So, let's see. Where's the Valkyrie count from Jang Hyun? Gamja can rebuild. Gamja, he's got a probe. He's got money. He doesn't have... Wait, wait. He doesn't have enough money, though. Where is he? He still has his main, says Nibbler. Uh, where, though? No, I don't. I'm looking for a purple nexus. I don't see one in the production tab, either. There's the Valkyrie ball. Man, Valkyrie siege tank. Pretty strong combo here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 0909. Yeah. 0909 is alive. Sure. Kind of. As alive as he's been for this entire friggin' game. 11, er... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 11 is dead, dead, dead. Il est mort. Looks like Brain's going for a Defiler Mound. A little bit of Plague, a little bit of Dark Swarm. Yeah, Brain sitting on 1,900 minerals and 2,000 gas with a uh, 28-worker count. He's using drones to mine a little bit. Looks like a bit of a drop attempt here out of Monster here at the 43 minute mark. Oh, you're right. I forgot. It doesn't show your second or third races under the worker count. Correct. We, yeah, 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 yeah. So he's got more workers than that. I would have given up trying to kill 09 at this point. I would have been like, there's got to be somebody out there that's easier to kill than 0909. Anybody. Anybody in the history of StarCraft is easier to kill than 09. 09. 
mind controlling a single dragoon is hilarious. Brain, you funny. Gets a stasis down. That's going to help a little bit here, too. Reavers in the mix. I don't know. Is this the end? Is this the end of our guy, 0909? Looks like Brain's going for one monster recall here. There are no science vessels for EMP purposes. So this is going to get up. He's just worried about the Goliaths more than anything else. Woo! Woo! Just a big zergling zealot recall. <laughs> As you do in the fastest map. Oh, the tanks were away. All these factories are in trouble. SCVs are getting murked. Cannons are trying to defend this. This one siege tank down here is like, I got it, boys. I can handle all of this. SCVs, body block for me. Do the thing. Steve Tank continues to be alive with 17 kills. Yeah, man. Zealots and Zerglings keep trying to get down to this dude. Ah! Finally gets wiped out, sadly. But a lot of the production is dead. A lot of the supply depots are dead. Jayon is not supply block, but he's 10 away from being there. Yeah, man. Recalling Zerglings, cracklings on top of buildings is insane. 0909 lives, by the way. As everybody kind of comes home to help deal with what's going on on Zheng Hyun Lee. Oh, good stasis on this drop, by the way. Do we have enough to deal with this drop is the question. What's up, Eric? Our goal every stream is about 100 likes. Nope, 150. Sorry, 100 is a good milestone, though. So 150 likes. We've got a couple more hours to go here, so it's not like we are running up against the clock. But 83 likes so far is good, but 150 is always the goal. And once again, undefended guardians dying to Valkyries. Tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme. Undefended guardians dying to Valkyries. Another massive triple recall here. Ultralisk this time with Zealot support. A killer tough combo. And that's it. Zheng Hyun Lee's like, okay, once I'm getting Ultras recalled in my base, I'm done. GG. Gam Japan taps because he's been dead for a while. I love that Brain's building more hatcheries up here in the top left. 0909 taking top left too. He is actually successfully mining from his top right base. The defense of 0909 will go down in legend as the greatest defense of a teammate in the history of the Falcon Paladin channel. I cannot believe he's not dead. The sheer amount of stuff, resources, that were tossed at that base trying to kill it. And still it remains. Still it remains to this day. And that's it, man. DRT taps our winners are monster brain. And 0909, who is somehow miraculously alive up here with all of, I don't know, how many drones? At least 13. He's got a total of 30. Some of them are over here, too. We could do some math, but whatever. Dude, he's got nothing. He's got a bunch of 3-3 lings, a defiler. That's his army right now. I guess these devourers might be him. Uh, no, it's looking like they're monsters. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. That was insane. Yeah, I could see why RJB sent this one with a higher priority. Wow. But yeah, just the death. The death, the not death of 0909 today. Legendary stuff. Legendary stuff. All right, man. 1,150,000 points from Brain today. 
964 from DRT, 863 from Monster, 437, 351, and 756 for Zheng Hyun Lee. Producing 1,600 units, killing 1,000 units, losing over 1,000 units was Brain today. Same thing with Monster, producing 1,700 units, only killing 500 with those, but welcome to Zerg. And losing 1,479. Structures raised, 238 killed by Breen and 242 by Monster. Resources outspending everybody by a pretty significant margin was Brain. DRT right there. And then in third place was Monster. Yo! Hey, what's up, JLC? That's right, hit that like button. We're up to 94, looking good. All right, well, fine. We gotta grab the brain replay out of the emails here. Hold on a second. Brain? WK Cross replay. Out of the emails here for just a second. 17. WK Cross, 1v3. Good. It's another 45 minute game. Hmm, I have time for any of this stuff today. Gotta do a nibbler replay. Uh, nope, don't have to do that one. Ah, whatever. We'll see what we get. We'll get nibbler and then we'll see how we feel after that. Not left versus right again, but top left to Brown, Terran player. It is Don Pepe. You got his teammate in the bottom right. All the way down here is SAR, Zerg player, and then a yellow Terran player. It's Barcode. Team two, SSJ Kai, who's a white Protoss player. Wild Hawaiian, who's a Protoss, who's orange, and Zizel, who's a red Terran player. APM spamming is SAR who appears to be WK Cross. And he's a Zerg today. Ba -da -ba. There's a couple people out here who seem to remember this game being played on WK Cross's stream. Again, check out WK Cross on Twitch and on YouTube. If you like Fastest Map, and if you like Fastest Map, you're probably here watching this right now. Zealot pressure is real. Do, 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 No. No. Denied. Denied. Denied everywhere. Nibbler says 11 went gas first. Well, he wants to get uh, apparently siege mode out really super fast on fastest map. We're gonna have sieged siege tanks at four minutes. That's pretty good. Zizel says, what's up WK Cross? With one sunken to his name, let's take you. Ooh, I love this positioning down this right side. Oh dude, oh dude. WK Cross is gonna have to fight with drones here. I think dude get down. No, no, come on man. No, what are you doing? Don't wander in range of the sunken. Mm, there's a sunken down here though too. All right, fair enough. That second sunken was a big deal. Zell is coming in from Wild Hawaiian to help defend his teammate, WK Cross. Does it seem necessary? Wait, no, that's an enemy? Oh, he's Sar. Why do I think he was Zizel? So I'm an idiot. He's here to attack. He's here to definitely attack. Ooh, did he, what? Did he walk these, what the heck? Did he walk see, no. Oh my gosh, he had like the fastest siege tank drop. That was a sub five minute siege tank drop on Zizel. 
Somehow he still has 17 SCVs after that. It was a really nice SCV pull. Are you kidding me right now? That was insanely fast. Zealot's trying to push in, but the sunken count is like as, as many as the Zealots. So that's not good. We've got a weird cannon rush attempt here by SSJ Kai against Barcode. It's like it's late and it's out here for some reason. This is a pretty fast Queen's Nest out of WK Cross in all fairness. The slow zealot pressure, I just don't think it's it here against WK Cross, man. And I appreciate you being here and everything. Don Pepe, who has a million siege tanks. Oh, he says protect my tanks, and then immediately one of them dies, and he has to unsiege it to get out. Because marine DPS against zealots is not good. Gosh, he keeps running his marines into these cannons. He killed a cannon, in all fairness. Hey, what's up, Jordan? Welcome to the stream. Okay, we're just going to try to slow zealot our way into Sunken Town, USA. With a bunch of Ling support here, too. Diesel's got tanks of his own? Yeah, that was not a good trade, Ant. Okay, WK Cross dealing with tanks. Okay, your zealots really don't need to die for no reason here. Really doesn't need to happen. Enough siege tanks to wipe out these marines? Pretty much. Ooh, good split though. Alright, good stuff. Oh, Don Pepe taps. He's like, that drop didn't work. I've got siege tanks busting my wall. Don Pepe leaves the game. Seems premature, unless he got dropped or something. Adrenal is done. Yeah, pretty fast adrenal out for WK Cross, but what else do we expect? They're going to trade much better against these Zealots now, and even better against Dragoons than they did previously. So that is a shutdown on the contain attempt from Wild Hawaiian. Still making cannons, huh? Well, in fairness, there are no tanks out from Barcode yet. Barcode decided to deal with this without making tanks, which I think is uh, probably a bad strategy. Tanks, said WK Cross. What is wrong with you? Hey, look, a tank. It's a nine-minute tank. Bunkers doing their best. But then Zizel comes up with his own tanks. Oh, barcode. Oh, barcode. Yeah, this might be one of the worst barcodes I've ever seen. Barcodes in Brood War are usually pretty solid. But nothing stops someone who's not solid from making a barcode name, right? He pulls all of his SCVs. I don't think there's even a tank in range of this mineral patch, dude. There's a little bit of a preemptive pull there.
SSJ Kai is here to hack away on these barracks. The barracks are going down. Siege tanks in position to get absolutely surrounded and friendly fire splashed by zealots. All right, so the tanks are gone. No, wait, a couple more tanks are defending. That's nice. WK Cross moving out with his Adrenal 1-1 wings against plus one attack gateway units. Not in huge numbers either. There is a DT out from Wild Hawaiian. Ooh, okay, a little bit of wing stuff busting in. Kind of just going mass zergling in the house. Yeah, Spire's on the way from WK Cross, working on Ventral Sacks as you do. Firebats being produced to try to deal with these Cracklings, but... Oh, yeah. Again, single target damage against SCVs. But it's a... It's Adrenaling single, single target damage, so it's pretty intense. Barcode taps. He's got zealots all on top of his SCVs, and now we see why this replay is called 3v1. Because it's WK Cross, who just got Corsair into next week, apparently. WK Cross on his own against three players who are pretty, very much. Well, Zizel's not super alive. What's up, Rude? It is like popping bubble wrap. Defo. There's DT in here hacking away at these lings. Two DTs in here hacking away at these lings. It's actually going to keep Zizel alive. DTs, man. Gosh, Overlord Death is a problem for Zerg players of all kinds. Siege tanks on the other side of the wall, another problem. What's up, Turge? Happy Sunday. Filer dies. I think he got killed by a siege tank. 20 kill siege tank, by the way, on the other side of that wall. So problematic. More lings come in? Yeah. How'd they get rid of the DTs? They didn't. Well, they got rid of one, maybe. This guy's got 38 kills. All of them are zerglings, I think. What's up, Tony? Happy Sunday to you, too. Or Monday, if you're in Straya. Or Japan. I don't know. There's a bunch of places where it's Monday. Oh, an irradiate uncrosses workers. Still at 68 drones, though. I don't know if he sniped it or what. That should have been a lot more disastrous. What's up, Joey M? Welcome to this stream. And Taro Adu. Indeed. All right. So we're just going, trying to go mass zealot. Mass zealot all the live long day, both from Wild Hawaiian and from Kai. Plus one attack versus a plus one attack. So not the greatest upgrades compared to what Cross is rolling with here. I guess the hiders don't have any missile attack yet. But, uh, what's up, Nintendo? Oh, he burrowed it? Hmm. He 
Yeah, like the 87 Sunkens that WK Cross made earlier are coming really in handy against these zero upgraded armor zealots. It's a little bit tough. Hiders are definitely dying. There's more stuff that keeps coming in going after his macro hatches. What not? Observer Sight Range upgrade on the way from Kai. Not bad. So I kind of feel like we're just going to be staring at this bottom right-hand area for the next, oh, 30 minutes. I think that's what we're looking at. Uh, yes, Turgay. Let me check the schedule for you real quick. We have a Larva game scheduled for tomorrow. So mark your calendars. The Lurkers are out. Those are going to help immensely here against these Dragoons and these Zealots and these DTs and their Dark Swarm. So, I mean, these are Protoss players trying to go basic gateway units against Tier 3 Zerg. Not great. I don't know what these Arbiters are trying to do. Guys, are you here to, like... What exactly? Do you want a recall? Do you want a stasis? He doesn't have a recall yet. So maybe he just wandered these arbiters down to die. Seems entirely possible. No battle cruiser games coming up, DLC. No Siri Bob. Ten kill lurker down here. These lurkers are kind of just murdering stuff with impunity. Anything that gets close enough to hit a lurker spine is dying. Yeah, I think these guys are pretty much just a moving. I don't see. I don't see any particularly great micro, but hey, it's fastest map. Gallons was here earlier, Kyle, but I haven't seen him say anything for a while. And we got Plague on these Zealots. We know how good the Plague is. Like, Lurkers are pretty good against Zealots, but Lurkers against Plague the Zealots are very good. Very, very good. Yes, Jack, it does. I think somebody already answered your question, though. Ooh, we get drops attempted. Okay, High Templar unloads. So, these aren't exactly the best players. Reavers would be great. Agreed, Blaze. Dark Archon energy on the way from Wild Hawaiian. Yeah, some Siege Tanks or some Reavers showing up would be insanely good against this Lurker Hydra thing that WK Cross is going for. Ooh, did he get a recall off? I think he got a recall off. That was all right. The cross is still at 87 drones, though.
What's up, Yimmy? Okay, I'm really just waiting for like siege tanks to show up. Or like somebody said earlier, Blaze said earlier, reverse mass Stargate is something. I don't think you want to try to go carriers here. The splash does damage. Yes, in swarm. All direct damage inside a dark swarm is negated from the outside, right? And the inside too. Anything covered by dark swarm, direct damage is nil. But splash damage still counts, which is why Archon still can do work inside Dark Swarm, and Reavers and Psionic Storm does 100% damage because it's all splash. And tanks, the splash portion of them still does damage in there too. Ah, big ol' drop down here on Wild Hawaiian. Cracklings at 3-3 and Dark Swarm and, um... Wild Hawaiian sitting on 24,000 minerals. Might just be sort of dead. Bring these Archons down. Where are you going? N All right. Okay. Well, he thinks, uh, can't save my base. There's like 12 lings down, 11 lings down here, killing my stuff. He plagues and dark swarms. Those cannons. That's great. That's really good. One zergling. No! It wasn't inside the dark swarm. He decides all he can do is counterattack and try to win that way. Uh, nope. That was not the right choice, Wild Hawaiian. I am sorry. Zizel's trying to come in and, like, irradiate the ever loving heck. Maybe. Boxer maneuver? Okay, that was pretty good. So just lost about 30 drones there. But still at 52 because he was at 87 previously. Yeah, like 35 drones died. And there's uh, actually nobody actively mining on the minerals right now. We burrowed some drones here. So maybe wait for them to heal up a bit before he pops them out again. I don't know what the plan is there. There's a lot going on though. Again, it's not that many lings that are doing this. The fact that he refuses to send, like, two Archons back and shut this down is bonkers to me. It's like, well, main base is a loss. Let's expand over on this left side. That's a play, I suppose. Should really not be happening. This is honestly disgusting that this this is happening. Hey, look, WK Cross is out on the map with some Hydras. First time he's really moved out to the middle of the map here. He got that huge drop off. That was nice. No, I muted myself, JLC. You'll notice my mouth wasn't moving. <clears throat> All right, man, are these, yes, two attack on the Hydras now. The three armor being shared by the Lings too. And Wild Hawaiian is dead. Yeah, we're at 25 minutes, no Reavers were attempted. Friggin' Zizel just kinda threw some tanks up on the other side of this wall and decided not to provide anything else. Our guy, Hi, is just uh, sort of hanging out. He's going Corsairs. But yeah, not a single Reaver produced by either of these dudes, either of these Protoss.
<laughs> right on, Toy Cop. Hey, Mad Mark. Hey, what's up, Ganon? Happy Sunday, sir. Yeah, a little Dark Swarm Hydra attack into your tank army, which really probably isn't enough. Knife and science vessels, as you do. Poor science vessels. All they can do is irradiate on the other side. Guy's at 120 supply. He's got a decent bank. He's got 57 probes. I just can't figure out. There's two. No, this is all Wild Hawaiians Corsairs, which are now largely dying. Hydro Lurker Ling busting in here. Uh, yeah, I mean, Zizel's dead again for the second time here. So, this game is over. There's nothing Kai can do to stop WK Cross. Nothing Zizel can do either. I mean, yeah, Wild Hawaiian Taps. Tries to evac with his SCVs and does a fairly good job of it. SSJ, um, I mean, look, dude. He's going the Corsair thing, but there's Dark Swarm, there's Plague, there's Devourers out, there's Hydras with good upgrades about here, too. Kyle, thanks for the $10 super chat. Yeah, I actually had 105 likes, so we broke the 100 like barrier, which is awesome. That's a good milestone to hit, but 150 is always the stream goal every Sunday stream. Yeah, Zizel is trying to float his barracks in here to his teammate's base, but... Nope. That's true, Ganon. No like button on Twitch. There's Stasis, there's High Templar, there's Storm here. So Kai has the tools he needs to avoid just straight up being overrun to the death here. Like, W. Cross can't just actually A move into him, kind of like what he did against Zizel. There was definitely some micro there, but... So Kai decided that he's got Storm now, which is nice. It's good for him. Yeah, there's been a problem with YouTube not up updating the like count automatically for several weeks now. I don't know what's going on with that bug. are doing okay, JTOX. Let's take a look real quick. La, la, la. It says I've gotten 45 fewer subscribers than usual compared to the previous 28 days. So, uh, <laughs> I got 265 in the last month. That's good. But I think, I don't know, like me talking about getting to 100,000 subs in 2024 is causing maybe fewer people to hit the subscribe button. I don't know. 
I don't know what's going on. Bovine, thanks for re-upping that membership for 19 months at the Hydralisk level. MVP. Bovine, supporting me on Twitch and on YouTube. As a Twitch subscriber and a YouTube member. Ah, thanks, Ganon, for wandering over to the red dimension. Terran, stop building, he says. Stop being alive, he says. are good. I do like that somehow Kai is kind of able to hang here against WK Cross when he certainly couldn't certainly couldn't earlier on. Hey Baron Starker, gotta invest in that beer on the weekends. I hear ya. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's like, I have Storm now. You had Storm when you were trying to kill WK Cross. You'd be in a much better position than you are now. I decided to wake up. But slow death is slow death. Storm is good. Uh, yes. Zergus Cross. I, uh... I mean, RJB does often come into the Discord server to complain about how turtly Protoss can get in fastest map. With a bunch of cannons and a bunch of Storm and just be like, bring it, Zerg. I can handle anything you can throw at me with these things. I'm not sure. Oh, Kai has a couple Reavers now. Hold on. Hold on. There are a couple Reavers out. Only at the 40-minute mark. We made it. D-Web would be pretty neat. Ma I agree. I concur wholeheartedly. Zizel taps. Kai says, no. I'm a man. I'm not going to give up. It. Kai taps out. No bank as lucky called and GG. So yeah. WK Cross 3v1. I mean, I will say I wasn't super impressed by either Zizel or Wild Hawaiian. But hey, defeating three players by yourself is pretty impressive no matter who they are. Well, that's not true, but I don't know. It was fine. I guess it was fine. Woo. Yeah, Kai was really the only major threat here. It just wasn't enough of a threat early for that to work out. That was amazing. All right, live game time. Let's riggedy rock. US West, Battle.net. Come join slash J. The Falcon Paladin 
server in here, or chat channel, save your swords in here, Detroit Bulk, Toy Cop, Lucky Owl, Hamster, Toma, all in the house. And, uh, yeah, you can play StarCraft with people. Even when it's not Sunday, if you join the Falcon Paladin chat channel on US West. See, can I play? Please just hopped in. What's up, dude? Oh, shoot! There is a Nibbler replay we need to get to. Just kidding. Forgot the Nibbler replay. That is one I needed to get to. Bonk. 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 Ba. Donk? Ba donk? Ba donk? Nibs. There you go. Nibs it is. We got it. This is fast. It's not a 40 minute replay from Nibbles this week. Sorry, Lucky Owl. Alright. Okay, once again, not left versus right. Not even close. We got Phonomania, a red Protoss player for Team 1. His teammate bottom right is a Protoss named Corallo. Thanks for following Mad Mark. And the last player on their team is Christrom87. Team 2 is 234SAD21A. We also have Nibbler on the left side. They're chatting about Sunken Rushing. He's orange. He's always orange. And that's, that's YW, who does play with Nibbler quite a bit. Does SAD play with Nibbler quite a bit? Can't remember. I cannot remember. Ah, chatting about last week's replay. Yeah, that last week's replay that Nibbler sent in was nuts. So Nibble is gonna go, there you go. Hatch, spawning pool, hatch. Scouting four gates out of our guy Phonomania. Scouting three racks. Out of YW and two rack or two gates out of Kralo. Cannons opening from Christone. I think there are cannons coming out of Christone, Sad says. He's walling off. He's throwing up three gas. That's a pretty decent uh, pretty decent read. Alright, sounds good, Turgate. Catch you next week. Enjoy. The larva replay tomorrow. Gotta love larva. He's true. Nibbled. Focused on this attack. What attack? There is no attack. I mean, okay. There's an attack kind of setting up in the center here, yes. And how many marines do you need? This is like one marine per zealot. If they just went, I think that's why W dies. He does have some bunkers to fall back to. That might keep him alive, but there are no medics and no fire bats in this group whatsoever. Oh, is he doing drops? He is. Central sacks on the way from Nibbler. That's what he's focusing on. He's focusing on getting drops in our... Down here, there are three cannons. He's like, come on, Ventral Sax. You're the slowest upgrade in the world. Might very well be. What's up, Georgie? So it's just a million zero zero lings. Dude's going carriers. I kind of like this. Nice jump on those cannons. Depower the stargates. There are okay. There's actually a bunch of zealots here from Crawlo trying to save the day. Nexus gonna fall. Main Nexus down. Secondary Nexus is a big deal. And he says there are seven minute carriers coming out of Kristom here. 
His own dragoons couldn't help because they're on the other side of the wall, but these zealots certainly could. Crawlo saved the day here for his teammate. Sad's Hydra's not doing well against a million zealots. Uh, there we go. Now there are Semitics and Stim. Here from that's Y W. Yeah, there you go. Unupgraded Marines versus Zealots, not as good. Stimmed Marines with medic support and maybe some fire bats too. Sick. But, uh. Gonna be siege tanks instead of the fire bats here with that gas. Sad making a push on Phonomania. There are enough cannons to deal a lot of damage to a bunch of 1 1 Hydras. So they're just gonna fall back. Three, he says. I mean, yeah, Crawlo's coming up. But Hydra Marine Medic can handle Dragoons really no problem, especially with some siege tanks. Nice critter. Nibble says, let's take down five. Five doesn't have a lot. It's got um a couple dragoons and a bunch of cannons. There is a zealot down there, but like one zealot's not even really worth mentioning here. Hey Chris. Yeah, maybe sometime though. It'd be fun. Brawlo's got a DT in here. Nobody brought detection. I'm not sure anybody is oh, What the heck? Was there a scan and I just didn't see it? Dude, the DT effectiveness on my channel over the last week is crazy good. Oh, this Overlord is here. Overlord, come down! This is an 11 kill DT! Oh, or a scan. Scan works too. Man, that DT thinned this attack out way too much. Okay, Overlords have speed now from Sad, so... Should handle it. It looks like it might be the death of Kralo here. Got High Templar, and they one of them has enough energy for Storm, but is Storm Research down here for Kralo? I don't know. It's almost done for Phonomania. I like how he's got all these zealots. He's like, oh, I guess I should defend my own base with these at some point. Yes. Yes, you should. Hey, Yoshiria, what's up? Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, this is too many hydras out of sad. Way too many hydras out of sad. Ah, Crawlo is starting storm research now. Phonomania showed up to try to help out a little bit. Bunch of hiders from Nibbles now on the way with zero zero upgrades. Boycott bringing some philosophy into the house here. Poor Templars can't do anything. Toy Cop. <laughs> it's like the one time out of 20 that the High Templar can't do enough, right? Just because Storm was too late. There weren't enough High Templar here from Kralo. He's trying to go Reaver Drop, it looks like, but he is just horribly overwhelmed. Yeah, Medic's Healing Hydras and Medic's Healing Zealots are two of the best things in Fastest Map. Really strong. Okay, now what you don't want to do is have these Hydras get dragged into fighting all of these cannons. But they're getting dragged into fighting all of these cannons. Some of them are focusing the Nexus, though. That's good. Second Nexus getting focused would be fantastic as well. To make sure that Crawlo is totally dead. Uh, I thought maybe that was a dropship evacing, but it wasn't. Oh my gosh, there are so many Hydras from Sad. One Storm. Storm is good. Not enough to kill, you know, 40 Hydralisks. 
as they take down your second nexus. So no income for, nope, tertiary nexus in the house, bottom right. I'm just gonna kill all these probes. Again, it's a lot of single target attacks on workers today. Phonomania says, oh yeah, well what if we killed Nibbler? Nibbler said, I'm gonna make some lurkers and fall back to these sunkens and hope it's gonna be enough, because this is a lot of 1-1 Dragoons. Okay, well the lurker eggs are not gonna survive under the onslaught of Dragoons here, unfortunately, but there are a bunch of sunkens. Queen's Nest, sniped. Is there any help? Uh, a bunch of lings popping out here. They do have their uh, one carapace upgrade. Ah, the carriers are here too. Nibbler getting double teamed. Needs some help. These hydras are distracted. That's okay, Nibbler says. Don't mind me. Because he's up here. Ah, he is. He just unloaded up here on Phonomania. Wiped his worker count out. Took down his main nexus and is uh, not going home anytime soon. <laughs> Two spore colonies. And hydras. Nibbler has enough cash to make a lot of stuff. And he is. He's firing up 19 hydras at once right now. Uh, these cannons in the middle for Phonomania are preventing Sad from getting over here. But Phonomania taps because this is happening. And now it's uh, Christome. Christome is alive. He's got carriers, but he's fighting two Zerg players. And a Terran who have marines. And that's your GG. Christome has two carriers remaining, taps out, and Nibbler says 12 HP left on that hive. Keeps it alive, what a boss. GG. That was fun. Started with a little 0-0 zero, zero speedling drop with Soul Overlords for Nibbler did set back the Protoss player Kristom quite a bit. Of course, he only had 66 APM, so... Anyway. Well executed. Sad had a good game for sure. Alright, that was fun. That was really, really fun. Okay, now we're gonna head over to US West Battle.net. And we're gonna say... Hooya! That's what we're going to say. We're going to do a phantom mode number one. Use those map settings. Extend those unit limits. Save your sword. Hamster, can I play, please? Lucky Owl. Toma. Ryer Terur Terur is here. Toyka, Baby T Rex, Big Wan. Does not get that final slot. Who is right higher? I feel like I've seen the name before. And it always goes fast. Ah, oh, you're rude. Nice. All right. Oh, hey. Uh, Ganon. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I uh, I played through the game three times, Ganon. So I re I'm done with it now. But I definitely... Uh, I think I put 260 hours into Baldur's Gate 3. Hurakami is in the house. Toy Cop says, let's kill Savior Sword. Dude, already? Savior is Phantom. I was phantom four times in a row, says Savior Sword. It's not my fault. Okay, let's rock. It's gonna be like this from now on. There's some weird bug where you're always phantom, Savior Sword. I'm sorry. We don't make the rules. What are we at? 122 likes. Looking good. 150 is the stream goal every week. And twice on Sundays. Alright, man. Who do we got here? Bam. Lucky Owl, Hamster, Baby T-Rex, 
Fox. Can I play, please? Toma, save your sword. Toy Cop and Rude. 2-2 two -two mode active, which means we have two Phantoms, two Paladins. Yo. 290 hours and ba I have no idea what Balatro is. up and I think I just messed something up. Uh-oh. We'll be fine. Da, 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 da. It is March 17th. Good about SC player. Twenty-four likes, looking good. And look at the names in the top right here. Okay, we nailed it, everyone. We're good to go. Who's claiming? Anybody claiming Paladin here? Lucky Owl claims Paladin. Toy Cop claims Paladin. So gray, yellow, working together. Lucky Owl says I was gonna make all the fire bats though. Nope, can I play? Please straight up accuses Rude of being Phantom for his early expansion attempt here. Save your swords like, it's not me. It's not me. Hey, Arcadiox, thanks for the $10 super chat. Yeah, round of 16 ASL. Man, that is a tough group. I'd love to see Bisu get out, but I think Soul Key is playing super well. Didn't he just. <sighs> I get Soma and Soma. Soul key confused. Their names both start with S. I know. I know I'm terrible. Yeah, he did. He won ASL 16. So Soul Key's doing alright. I think Soul Key getting out is a pretty solid uh, solid setup. Solid guess. What's up, Suleiman? Happy Sunday, member of the channel. Oh. Baby T-Rex is attacking. Can I play, please? Oh, dude. It's also blue, he says. So, Corey. Uh, yes. Slayers are regular players. Enemies are phantoms. They get extra cash. Because they're outnumbered, right? There's only two phantoms, and there are, you know, six people they need to kill. So getting extra passive income in addition to what they're mining is really useful in that goal. Yeah, exactly. A bad SC player. Soma and Sulky are both insanely good. And my brain's like, insanely good? Zerg player whose name starts with S? They're both the same. I need some way to differentiate them in my head. I guess Sulky is the most recent ASL winner. 
Hey, nice, Andreas. Good luck. Have fun in there. So the fire bats of Lucky Owl are actually pretty useful against this mass ling thing of baby T-Rex. Maybe it's going to work out. Can I play please running and hiding down here in Toy Cop's base? Because he doesn't have any nexuses left. But apparently he has enough money to build a nexus. So he's doing his best to stay alive. And you're right, JSL one ASL f or JYJ one ASL fifteen. JYJ is pretty monstrous too. Uh, really? Your fire bats? Ah! What the heck? Oh, it's Rude. Okay, so yeah, so Rude's in here, taking on Lucky Owl as an avowed paladin. We're gonna try to take him down. Jack says, let's get it. So Lucky Owl has to abandon all hope. Well, no, just his base. He still has hope. And then, uh, maybe. Also, it's not really a free-for-all. But and Can I Play Please gets uh, knocked out too temporarily. So that's big. If Lucky Owl is a paladin. And Can I Play Please is just dangerous no matter what. Taking those two guys out early is really good. Bunch of Hydras out from Baby T-Rex. Oh, yeah. Baby T-Rex. Dude, Zealot, Ling, Hydra as an early just go combo. Pretty good, man. The lag is problematic. I don't know who's lagging out here. Savior Zord somehow just has a handful of Zealots. I guess he went triple expand. <laughs> That'll do. Holy smokes, this lag, though, is indeterminable. Oh, it's Root. Oh, no. If one of the Phantoms gets lagged out. Ah, uh, that sucks. We've definitely had situations like this before, where the phantom, we know who the phantom is and they lag out. Ah, oh, that sucks. That totally sucks. This was good. This was a good game. And now... Ah... That internet sucks, man. Okay, so one of the phantoms is dead. Lame. Dang it, Rude. Where is your internet? Toy Cop's going mass scout, because of course he is. Ah. I felt okay about a potential phantom win there. <sighs> now it's over because of lag. Great. Boo. Boo, I say. Boo. Well, let's try it again, I guess. That, do Man, that doesn't even count. That's not even a win. Super Boo, I say. Save your sword. Gimme, can I play, please? Toma, hamster, baby T Rex, Roblox, hunt grind. Who the heck is Roblox?
Yeah, Hurakami keeps going from red to green, which is not promising, but he's obs. Oh, back down to yellow. Hmm. Okay, so game one basically didn't count. Let's try this again. Phantom mode number two. If Horikami lags, we can boot him. Hey, it's Sonia. What's up? All right, let's go. Boop. Names again. What do we got? Hamster, Toy Cop, Baby T Rex, Real Ultra, Toma. Can I play, please? Lucky Owl and Yimmy. 2 1 mode active says save your sword. So that's two phantoms, one paladin. Is what it is. New names in the house. Slayer, Slayer, Slayer. Save your sword says I'm Phantom as I'm obsing. Want a fast game? No. If you want a 1.5 hour long game? Kinda, says Lucky Owl. 30 minutes would be a good game, he says. Okay, I'm gonna go get a Coke Zero refill. I'm gonna step out for a second. We'll see what we see. Be right back. And I'm back. What is this? Mm, early lings out here. From Hamsta. Uh oh. Hamster doesn't want a long game. He's busting in here right on top of Toy Cop. Hamster going after Toy Cop without really saying anything about it. Probes fighting. Okay. Handles it. That wasn't really too bad. Maybe a couple probes died. Hamster's throwing up more hatcheries. So it's Hamster. Oh, and then Thomas says, I am the second one. Okay. We've got two early phantom announces. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> Sulky does probably have four girlfriends. It's a good point. Being ASL champ in Korea is a big freaking deal. And I wish I could tell what was private chat and what wasn't. 
But either way, we'll see if people figure this out. T-Rex is like, I could tell. Look at this one basing stuff going on here. I know, but man, I do try, and I don't know. It's hard. I don't feel like someone's tried that in months. Seems like every time somebody announces they're the second phantom, they just do it in all chat. Everybody's like, oh. But this time it was attempted to be sneaky. And there's no way for me to visually tell the difference. You saw. You saw. It's just like a regular chat. It looks like he's talking to everybody. That's a, that's a limitation of being an OBS, I think. Okay, well, this is going to be over soon. Bummer. Sorry, Lucky Owl. Hamster is up to... Hey, what's up, Kevin? Got notified this week. Got notified three and a half hours into the stream. Maybe T-Rex already knew, he says. All right, good. I don't know what the queen's nest is for. Hamster's not going for a hive right now. Magillion lurkers of all time here for Toma, though. I like that. Uh, this is actually just Hunters, Jeffrey. This is not big game Hunters. I kind of like this. If Hamster could get out, it'd be nice. But guess who's got High Templar? And a bunch of speed lots. Yeah, that's right. Toy Cop does. Okay, just burrow. Just burrow somewhere. Yeah, split off. Get inside this mineral line. Get inside this mineral line. And Toma can kill two people. Let's go. Once again, can I play please die as Fast. Very interesting. If Hamster could get out here, that'd be super nice. But he's just... Toy Cop's doing such a good job keeping the Phantom down because storms are amazing. Lucky I was like, the turret didn't build. There's a Reaver and Detection. Hold on a second. Hold your horses. We've got a uh, my gosh, Yimmy in here. Reaver countering this lurker stuff. What a boss, dude. They needed that. Really needed that. Like a billion percent, they needed that. Dog with a blog. What's up, dog with a blog? Channel member. And there are obs out and dragoons and reavers and stuff now. Okay. So baby T-Rex is doing the right stuff. Yimmy doing the right stuff. Uh, 
All right. It was a good attempt, I gotta say. It was a pretty good attempt there. But once Protoss has detection and dragoons, they pretty much counter this whole Hydra Lurker stuff. And if they've got Reavers, it's even worse. For the Hydras and Lurkers, I mean. This is the second Phantom monster, but the first one was... We had one of the Phantoms disconnect, so it was six minutes long. Wasn't great. Lucky L's like, all I want to do is make fire bats. Well, not allowed, Lucky L. Not today. can trade pretty well against Hydralisks, yeah. Answer GG's out as Phantom. And this Mass Lurker strat is really terrifying against a lot of stuff here for Toma, but not against Dragoons and Reavers. Simply not. He's trying to get here on top of Yimmy, but I don't know. Four cannons and a reaver. Really? Okay. Yeah, he kills one cannon for like seven dead lurkers. Ooh, two cannons for like 12 dead lurkers. Not the greatest thing, dude. GG, Toma. GG. Look, again, Mass Lurker. Fine, fine strat. Lucky Hell's like, finally, fire bats. Yeah, all the lurkers are dead. You don't even have to storm here, really. That's a really nice one, though. Really nice one, though. It's over. Toy Cop was the paladin. Oh, that explains why he did such a good job holding off Hamster Phantom. Toy Cop was the paladin. He had a little bit of extra income there. That's a big deal, actually. Toy Cop's not a paladin. I think Baby or Hamster does a better job getting out, killing him, and then going bonkers on the rest of the map. That was just bad luck, I think, for Hamster. That one, a paladin was right next door, and it was Toy Cop, who's pretty dang good anyway. Yeah, I got you, Toy Cop. We know. Ugh. All right, so Critter gets to play in the place of Baby T Rex. Yimmy was a bit of a hero there.
Critter hasn't played with us in a while. Welcome back, Critter. Big Wan gets a spot. That's good to see. And I think we're good. Mining spots aren't equal. Hmm. Alright. Numero tres. Again, we've got people going gray and black here. But, generally, it's Hamster. He's Terran this time. We've got a big one up here. Dark blue Lucky Owl. Terran for his fire bats. Real ultra right side again, Protoss. Save your sword bottom right. Critter, Toma, and can I play please doing Protossy kinds of things. Updating the names for public consumption. There we go. Names updated. Uh, yeah. Georgie, I do have some replays with Big Game Hunters. Let me get a link for you real quick. It's not unlimited resources, but... Got another couple of them for you here, Georgie, if you want to hang on a second. Here's one. Here's one with nukes. And here's a 2v2 on big game hondos. Alright. There you go. Good call, Toy Cop. 2-0. So two Phantoms, no Paladins, and there are no Paladin claims. Critter says... <laughs> oh, Real Ultra says he's a Paladin. Immediately after we determine there are no Paladins. Good job, Real Ultra. He's Gen Z, though. He likes to throw bits of chaos into every situation in which he finds himself in. You're welcome, Georgie. Nice. Three separate nexuses coming up the middle, all from different players, though. That's Critter, that Savior Sword, and that is Real Ultra. Yeah, Real Ultra likes taking center, so it makes sense that he's here. What's up, Froopy Noop? Yeah, certainly. Certainly good to watch, Froopy Noop. Sorry I didn't see your message in the hotel now. I was doing some administrative stuff here to get the names in the top left. But uh, thanks for stopping by. And yes, true big game hunter mineral patches are functionally unlimited. We've got 60,000 minerals on each mineral patch. So yes. Not wrong. Macro hatches down here from Toma. Dude, Toma again? Only 50? Hmm, hmm, okay. Can I play, please? Sniffs it out. Bjorn, 10 euros. Super chat. 
plus he's a channel member, plus he's a patron of mine at patreon.com slash falcon paladin. What up? There, you know what? This is pink. It's definitely pink. Nope, pink. Yeah, real ultra. I'm with you on this one, buddy. Definitely pink. Mm, orange is looking pretty sus too, you guys. Lucky Owl up here. Remember who's going to go mass fire bat? He just threw up a factory before Academy. Maybe he's just trying to stay alive long enough. Toma has not unallied. Can I play please yet? I think he still hasn't. Well, maybe he has. Alright, Slowling's moving out here from Toma. Can I play please? Is like, I'd really like to not die in the first 10 minutes today. Which I totally did in the first two games. There's the super chat. Happy Sunday again, Bjorn. Thank you, sir. Oh, and he's got some mutas out. Double Spire Ling Muta. I kind of love this. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Stop being so all over the place, guys. You need to go take down these cannons that are warping in down here in Critter's base. Yeah, Toma's just a little bit unfocused here. Oh, hang on. Did we get here in time? He got here in time to set those cannons down. All right, so Critter's in a lot of trouble. Who can save him? Let's see. Uh, maybe Corsair production out of Savior Sword? Might be enough to save his butt. Uh, I don't see... I mean, the Mass Fire Bats out of Lucky Owl are not good. Ooh, the Mutas pop out. They leave Critter after wiping out his Nexus, but they leave his second Nexus and his third Nexus alone. Uh, Critter's attacking Real Ultra. Real Ultra is confused by this. Can I play, please? Oh, can I play, please? Made a scout! What is this memeing today? Can I play, please? Why? Yeah, it's like cop. That would be cool. Ooh, there's a Valkyrie out, though, from Hamster. Look at the Mutas chase that Valkyrie down. They know. They're not worried about the Scouts as much, but they're definitely worried about this Valk. Like, no, we must kill this Nexus. Man, we have had zero hiding Phantoms today. Toma got it twice, and Toma is just never interested in hiding out. Wiping out drop ships. Gotta fight these Valks. Taking a lot of splash damage here, guys. Mutas are dying for it. Valkyrie falls back to the cannons again. And now there's Corsairs out from Can I Play Please. So this mass Muta strategy has a bit of a hard limit to it. Uh, 
Oh, and yeah, then a bunch of Corsairs out. Okay. Savior Sword shows up and helps, and everything dies. Fire Bats. Countering Toma. Toma somehow doesn't have anything. Has not really been macroing while being out there with the Mutalist. Yes, the Scout guarantee for the Falcon Paladin Sunday stream has been fulfilled like three or four times today. But that's good. 142 likes. Working on that 150 goal there, everybody. As this Muta strategy is just nothing. It's nothing. Big win. I was sending Hydras to help you and Lurkers. Ball. Yeah, so Toma's dead. Critter's been able to rebuild, though. That's good. And yeah, join the Discord server. Come hang out with other Brood War fans. Yeah, so this is the problem. If Toma's just supply blocked into next week, then he can't build anything, despite all the money he gets as Phantom. And he's dead. You just gotta send like a couple zealots down to wipe out these drones, start working on these buildings, and you got this. There we go. Some fire bats, some zealots are coming down. Savior Sword knows the score. He knows what to do. He knows what to do. <laughs> Tomo lets out an evil laugh as he's supply blocked into uh, forever. Just waiting for these eggs to hatch. Oh, great. Overlords, you say. These Corsairs are not helping. Come on, save your swords, Corsairs. Help. Oh, they're all stacked up, too. Come on down. Let's take down Toma. Guys, you gotta send the zealots down to actually take down Toma. Here we go. Here they come. It's time now. There's a sunken. Firebat's not great against Sunkins. Zealots are, though. It's just the Zealots are having a hard time closing in on these Sunkins. More Zealots are joining the party, however. Drone count's going down. What's up, EB? Happy Sunday. Head of security for the Discord server. Look at Real Ultra taking this base. Hey, Poco Gamer, thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the Brood War. An Ultralisk is out. Hang on, maybe Toma's not dead after all. What can I play, please, doing? Mask Scout Corsair. All right. Fair enough, I guess. The Zerg is totally not dead. The Zerg got Ultralisks out somehow, despite being supply blocked into next week several times. Was able to unsupply block himself in incredible ways. Can I play, please? Chilling with his little uh, Sky Toss army, which doesn't include carriers, even though it usually does include carriers. S 
sending fire bats in to attack Ultralisks. Good grief. Yeah, Daniel, we could do that. Maybe we'll do that next week. We'll do a OG stream. Sounds pretty good. F5 is a lie, though. I want to try to do it with the OG client. Because it looks better than F5 does. And I kind of love this mass ultralisk thing. No upgrades on these dudes. But I assume we're working on them with that evolution chamber. That'd be a guess, though. These are plus one attack dragoons against no upgraded ultras. Disruption web. Beautiful. Disruption web on the spores. Siege tanks unloading in here, too, from Hamster. Firing away. Toma looks like he's dead. Scouts can kill Ultras. It just takes a minute. That's all. Nothing wrong with that strategy. Yeah, Daniel, I think I just need to... I think I do have original Brood War installed. It's just a matter of logging into Battle.net from it. I think I can do that. All right, so Toma's dead. Looks like go Navy win, he says. He's... He's assuming? That the other phantom is Big Wan? Apparently. All right, Toma was a phantom. Surprise! There are people that play with us who just have the original client. You can tell because they're um, in a game like this because their rectangles are squares instead of rectangles. It looks like everybody here has the remaster, but we definitely have some people that play with us who have the OG. And you can play with someone who has the remaster if you have the OG Brood War too. It's cool. So now the question is, who is the second Phantom? Everyone's just kind of macroing up at this point. Lucky Owl got his fire bat set up. Critter Savior, Lucky Hamster, and Can I Play Please participated in killing Toma. Which leaves... Uh, Big Wen didn't, and Real Ultra didn't, who's massing carriers over here, mind you. Off of three bases with a fourth here, too, that he's kind of getting some resources from. Nah. Okay, so we actually got to the intrigue part of a phantom mode today. First time in a couple tries. Lucky Owl says that's a lot of carriers from Real Ultra behind all of your chat over here. Two, three, two upgrades. There are at least 12 of them. Looks like 13 at least. Yeah, Richard, my PC doesn't have a disk drive either. Those are totally getting phased out, aren't they? The day of optical media seems to be just about over. Carriers do take a long time to make. Absolutely.
hamster. Can I play, please? Considering. Uh, yeah. No, you can also mount an ISO. Mounting an ISO totally works in Windows, too. Just tell it, hey, there's a CD here. And Windows is like, all right. I think that's what I do for my OG casts, is I'm mounting the Brood War ISO and then running it from there. Now you just stream it on your PC, Richard Button, thanks to the power of the internet. But yeah, I remember watching DVDs on my computer, too. Can I play please making a move here? I'm just kind of setting up. Bit of a defensive posture. Could be considered an aggressive one, too, here against Big Wayne. Is Big Wayne defending himself at all? He's just... Nope. Not since he sent some lurkers up here to hamster, and he claims accidentally. So I don't know. Ooh, where are we going? It's blue. Can I play please says it's boring. Let's go attack someone. Good on you, can I play please? I guess blue, he says. This is for taking my natural. Oh, and he did steal Hamster's natural. It's a good point. That did happen. And then Hamster took this one. <laughs> uh, ow. Oof. Ah. Uh. Okay. Well, that's not good for Big Wan. Not at all. Real Ultra sending his carriers to help kill Big Wan. Looks like that's where he's headed anyway. Little D web on that spore just for good measure. Uh, yeah, Daniel. You can actually grab old DOS games off of some sites like uh, Abandonware, as Big Wan just gets absolutely wiped out here. And, uh, yeah. You can run them in DOSBox or ScumVM. But seriously, that's a, Abandonware is a great, great website to go to for that kind of stuff. So Big Round GG's out, and is he a phantom? Is the game over? He was! <laughs> All right. Tough. Tough play. Oh, see, Daniel knows about Abandonware. Well, then what do you want floppy disks for, then? You don't need floppies with Abandonware. Incredible. All right, we'll go one more Phantom Mode, just because these none of these have been great. Let's try to get a great Phantom Mode out. That's what I want, right? That's all I want. Dark Knight. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Loch Ness Monster, who's that? That was an okay phantom. You want software that's not on abandonware. Wow, what are you looking for, Daniel? Hey, what's up, Eskia? <laughs> Save your sword. You let him die. Okay, uh, Rusalov. Say hi in YouTube chat, please. Who are you, Loch Ness? A Zerg skin on Winamp Farewell? That sounds cool. I want, where did you get a Zerg skin? Hey, Rusala, thank you. Fair enough, John Doe. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good with this setup. Dark Knight's here from the Twitch. Toma's back in. Real Ultra gets another spot. Rusalov is in. Do I believe in the Loch Ness Monster? I do not. No. All right. 
Chunk. Toma, Dark Knight, Baby T Rex, Rusalov, Loch Ness Monster, who is John Doe, Real Ultra, Yimmy, and Savior Sword, two Phantoms, zero Paladins again. You'd think this would be moderately easy. Doable, perhaps, for the Phantoms, but it appears to be not doable today. Slayer, Slayer, never Paladin. There are no Paladins in this one. I'm sorry. Um, okay, we've got a Spartacus situation here. Real Ultra says he's a Phantom. Baby T-Rex says he's a Phantom. John Doe says he's a Phantom. Dark Knight says he's a Phantom. Savior Sword says he's a Phantom. Lol, lol, lol. Good stuff. I was going to nuke Real Ultra's carriers. <laughs> if that game kept going. Fantastic. See, that would have made it a fun game, for sure. Winamp does, Georgie. I re-downloaded Winamp sometime last year. Thing is, I don't listen to a lot of music on my computer anymore. Usually more of a YouTube thing these days. If I'm working or, you know, playing something fairly mindless, I'll have a YouTube video up rather than be listening to music. And it's usually podcasts instead of music. Like, I like music, but I th I'm just... I don't know. My brain has always been a little bit more attuned to information than music. Like, my brain craves information if it hasn't gotten any in a while. And podcasts provide information in a way that music doesn't, right? So, I, if I'm driving around, podcast. If I'm doing the dishes, podcast. Mowing the lawn, podcast. I do listen to music if I'm driving my kids around, though, because they hate my podcasts. They're not interested in the stuff that I'm interested in. But, uh... Other than that, it's pretty much a podcast kind of day for thing for me. What critter? No, wait. Is that not update? Friggin... Is it Toma again? Oh, I did the wrong thing. There we go. There we go. It's, oh my gosh. Why is Toma always the Phantom? DLC is amazing, it's true. Yeah, Eskia. Phantom in every Phantom mode this stream. I think. Maybe not the. F was he in the first one? My gosh. Real Ultra getting bullied by the Phantom. 148 likes. We are close. I'm 
Dave C's buying records. Ah, the hipsters. How is it every time, Toma? The randomness of this phantom thing is broken. It was Save Your Sword like four times in a row, and now it's Toma who's the phantom every freaking time. And like, Toma's a cool dude. He's a pretty good player, but he's not good enough to do this. He's not good enough to go early and win as a phantom. It's tough. Like, even our best players, like Can I Play Please and RJB can't do that. Every time, anyway. Wait, what is this? Is Dark Knight the other phantom? Blue and gray, says Toma. What is happening right now? I don't know. I'm gonna question it. So baby T-Rex. Is getting attacked by... Okay, so they both have a lot of stuff here. Toma has a lot of stuff. Baby T-Rex has a lot of stuff, but neither of them are phantom. Or one of them isn't a phantom. Why are they attacking? So Real Ultra is dead, and he's a Slayer. Big Wan's like, yo. Alright, maybe this is a good game. Dude, Dark Knight is firing up a lot of stuff here. Fact, fact, fact. Fact. Barracks, barracks, fact. At seven minutes, this is pretty sus. Out of Dark Knight, man. Save Your Sword's got some DTs out. A lot of DTs out. No, I just said purple was sus. That's all. Seven minutes, three factory. What are you talking about, three factory? One, two, three, four, five, six factory, man. There you go, six. And now he says that it's eight. <laughs> Spire coming up. Toma. There you go, real ultra. He's got 47 factories. OMG. We convinced baby T-Rex to go after the Dark Knight up here. going against Toma. Maybe T-Rex has vendettas against multiple people here. But also Brown's in the house. Yimmy's in the house. Oh, and then Savior Sword's up here going against Baby T-Rex. So we are counter counter claiming each other here. Toma looks like he's in a lot of trouble. Yibby's also in a lot of trouble, baby. T-Rex is in a lot of trouble because Savior Sword's murking him. Toma again with the evil laugh as he is getting slowly destroyed. Alright, so Toma's out. Baby T-Rex, I don't know if he's going to be able to rebuild or not. His drones are getting chased. He's got to start building something before this goes down. 
And he doesn't? I don't think he does. Baby T-Rex? Oh, he gets a hatch down just barely. Holy smokes. That was close. And he's being defended, too, by John Doe. So Yimmy holds on. He barely has anything, though. He's got, like, three SCVs. They're not actively mining. And Tomo was a slayer. Huh. So Tomo just does not like sitting around at all. Why would you attack everybody as a slayer? Because Toma doesn't like games where you sit around, I guess. He definitely sparked a lot of aggression. They said they're phantoms. Everybody was jokes, Toma. Everybody was jokes. Holy smokes. It's Savior Sword again, though. Why is it always the same names? Yeah, Corey, glad you're enjoying it. Maybe T-Rex says that it is Yimmy, and it is Savior Sword. Pretty decent combo here. As Rusilov's getting his front door broken in. Uh, he doesn't have anything. Was he trying to go? Oh, he's trying to go battle cruiser. He was kind of versivoing it here. Hang on. This many Dragoons and Goliaths should be able to wipe out these two BCs. Especially with a little extra Goliath support here. SCVs are making a run for it. Stop attacking the SCVs. You gotta kill these battle cruisers, man. Okay, there we go. Battle cruisers down. Yeah, Richard. So ugh, the dual streaming here from Streamlabs OBS doesn't support going 1440p to YouTube and 1080p to Twitch. And if you try to send 1440p to both, they freak out. Both Twitch and YouTube freak the heck out. So I don't know if like Restream.io allows me to do it. Allows me to go 1440 one place, 1080p the other place. I, I was gonna research it last week, but it was too busy for me to find out. But T-Rex leaves. Cause he didn't have anything. What's baby T-Rex? I don't know. Apparently he was a slayer. Nobody freaked out. Ooh, we get a phantom win? Maybe we get a phantom win. Been like three weeks since we've gotten a phantom win. Uh, Sunday stream goes on for about two more hours on average, Corey. Maybe less, maybe an hour and a half. Depending on how things are going and how Falcon is feeling. It's really about six hours long. Okay, ob snipe, really nice ob snipe there. By Yimmy. Oh, right. This is Dark Knight. Why do I keep calling him Yimmy? It's Dark Knight. Yimmy's playing Zerg down here. The DTs get down in here. How are you evacing? Apparently, DTs got down in here. As Rusilov tries to make a new home down here in the south. Hey, Rude, is your internet back? Yeah, Richard, that's kind of where I've settled. I don't know. I don't know. sure if there's enough of a difference to really necessitate switching restreaming services. Hey! We got 150 likes. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everybody, for hitting that like button, hitting our stream goal here at 4 hours and 20 minutes. What's up? Appreciate it, especially if it was a little bit difficult for you, if you had to hit the like button by going into a different menu because you're on an Apple TV or something. I appreciate it. You guys are the best. You're the best community of StarCraft fans out there. 
Love you all. Thanks for hitting that like button. And 200 is a stretch goal that we go for. Haven't gotten 200 in a long while, but I don't know. Might as well keep trying to go for it. Oh, your PC crashed is what happened, rude. Bummer. Sorry, sir. And 150 likes dance coming in from Toy Cop. What else do you want? <laughs> Hold on. Rusilov making a new world for himself. Carriers out of save your sword. These are counterable. And Dark Knight seems to have kind of slowed down the pressure. Dark Knight's just kind of hanging out. Like, not doing anything. So save your sword find, uh, somehow like finds himself alone here. Hey, Reaper0205, thank you for following. Welcome to the Brood War. Dark Knight is sending some units down, but running him into tanks, not going to work out all that well. I mean, he's still building stuff. Barely. These tanks are all, or the factories are all quiet right now. I don't know. He's expanding, I guess. Top right. Dark Swarm. No Hive. Uh-oh. Yimi's in a lot of trouble, friends. Like, Hydras? Sure. They trade pretty well against carriers, but not when the carriers are this they have this kind of an advantage. There we go. Goliath with Caron Booster here, though. Hydra is combined with Goliath with Caron Boost. A lot of it's the range, though. The amount of Hydras didn't make a hive. Make a hive! Save your swords falling back. Dude, this might actually be a Slayer win. Holy smokes. John Doe's in the mix. He's got his Goliaths out. They have upgrades. They've got 1-1 one, one upgrades. Purple's making battle cruisers. He is not making battle cruisers, actually. Might be a Slayer win. Good call, Toy Cop. Way to sniff that out. That was a good spot. Savior Sword is hybrid playing here. It's not Mass Mass Carrier. He is adding Dragoons into the mix, as all the best Protoss players do these days. And that Goliath count is pretty good, but killing Interceptors is not going to help us much because Savior Sword has infinite monies. And there is a scout. All right, Daniel. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Uh, I built my PC, Richard. Struggling with Savior Sword's carrier micro. And Dark Knight keeps showing up to assist as well. Okay, upgrading to a hive. We've bought some time here. The Archons and the Zealots and the Carriers and the Chaos have arrived. Ah, uh, and it is a phantom wing. Dark Knight kind of let his foot off the pedal a little bit. 
If he'd kept playing, I think this would have ended sooner, but nice phantom win. And yeah, I think a lot of that was baby T-Rex killing Toma, just because Toma attacked him. So that knocks someone out of the hunt, and then Toma killing Real Ultra too was a problem. So there's a lot of Slayer on Slayer death in this game that gave a nice window for the Phantoms to come in and get that win. That was amazing. And yes, farewell. There is a thing on Amazon. You can do a free... Is that the command? Yep, Amazon Prime. You can give away Amazon's money once a month as a sub here on Twitch. So if you click subscribe on Twitch and you have an Amazon Prime sub, you can connect your Amazon account to Twitch and then free sub to me, for example. No monies. No money at all. Out of your pocket. It's out of Jeff Bezos' pocket. So, good stuff. Alright, let's go. You know what? I kind of just want to do a team turbo today. And then do a free-for-all. One, uh, just eight player free for all, no teams to wrap up the stream. I think that's what we want to do today. That's the play. Let's try to get some balanced teams too. Hey, there we go! Icy Scars just subbed with Prime. That's the spirit. <laughs> Thanks, Icy Scarge. He's like, oh, you can? Balance here, says Toy Cop. As he's paired up with Can I Play Please. Uh huh. How do we mix this up? Hey, Dark Knight, first time being a Phantom, and you got a win! That's fantastic! Hey, what's up, Jose? Man, we haven't done a Helm's Deep in a while, sir. It's true. Nope, oh, hamster taps. Aw. Did well. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we need to split up Can I Play Please and Toy Cop, I think. Critter and Savior is pretty strong, too. It is. How do we mix it up, though? Who do we give? How do we swap Yimmy and Toy Cop? Let's do that. Eh? How's that sound? Man. Oh, I guess Toma's going, Zerg. Okay. Let's rock. No hamster. Hamster said he's not feeling well. Critter apologizes to a teammate before we start. <laughs> That's funny. Someone needs to click start. Hey, what's up, Z, -Z user? Too late now, Dave. See? Too late now. Someone's not clicking start. Click start. Thank you. Okay, teams are team fire here. Toy cop. And John Doe, team two is Savior Sword and Critter.
team three is Yimmy and can I play please? And then last but not least, it's Toma. Zerging it up and baby T-Rex also zerging it up. Team Zerg up here to the north. Gonna step away for just a second. This should be pretty intense. I'll be back right back. Ooh, ha. Okay, we're back. Has anybody died yet in the first two minutes and 18 seconds? No. Uh, oh, there is! There's a little bit of aggression here. Toma, early wings again. Making a move here on John Doe. And thanks for following Adderthorn out on Twitch. Critter, speak to me! Critter not typing. Oh, and then Adderthorn subscribed with Prime 2. Two O's. New sub, new follower, Adderthorn. Thank you so much. Welcome aboard. Happy to have you here. All right. Uh, Hamster says, Zerg is nerfed because larva production isn't good enough. Hmm. More hatch? DTs from Toy Copper here. There is detection. Come on, baby T-Rex. There you go. And speed's even done for them, too. That's pretty good. Toy Cop says, we gotta take down baby T-Rex. We got DTs, we got HTs, we got Dragoons, we got Zealots. And here comes, can I play please, into Toma's base. Ah, Team Zer getting double teamed, unfair. Unfair, VG, thanks for subscribing. Brood Wars, the best RTS, I will die on that hill. It absolutely is, Adderthorn. So Toy Cop being held over on the left side. The right side, lurkers are still a problem. Can I play police is bringing an OBS up. But that's giving time for these lurkers to reposition. It's a lot of lurks, man. There's a lot of Dragoons too, though. And man, Dragoons, I've said this a billion times today. They trade really well against lurks. <laughs> Dragoons, Dragoons good unit. Very, very strong, all around great unit. Who tried to take center? Like, can I play please? Did that's not happening thanks to Savior Sword. It's not green, by the way. I don't think you can choose your colors in this. Thomas trying to use Mutalus to get rid of these Dragoons. No, we're trying to use 
Hydras get rid of these Dragoons. Also, not really. But now, uh, maybe T-Rex has to deal with two separate Protoss. One on one side, one on the other side. Hey, Slicky Fats. Deloaded you? How do you get deloaded, Slicky Fats? <laughs> maybe T-Rex is salty. Ah, he's really salty. All right. Well, Team Zerg is dead. No real surprise about that. Zerg, as was outlined by our guy Hamster here, not particularly strong out in this game mode. Deloaded means you lift lighter weights for fewer reps. You have to do it occasionally so you can dive fatigue. Oh, okay, cool. Ancient Millennial need more rest than a kid. Hey, also Ancient Millennial here. I'm 41, which is like right on the very bare edge of being a Millennial. I hear ya. I don't actually lift weights at all. I just run. I just treadmill run, call it good. Intermittent fast. Keeps me from getting fat. That's all I really care about. I don't want to be buff. Don't want to see games. Just don't want to be fat. A little bit of some zealot bombing here from Savior Sword on the tanks of John Doe. Not bad. Not bad at all. What's up, Vincent? How goes it, sir? Ooh, someone lagging real bad as Baby T-Rex is being summarily executed. Holy lag. Is it me, says Hamster? Oh, it's gone. Bye, lag. That was weird. All in the center here, though. John Doe. Defending with Mass Goliath down this way. He does have 1-1 one, one upgrades. Dragoons are at 2-2-2, two, 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 though. For Savior Sword. Alright. Zergy Zerg is dead. Team Blue and Red's doing pretty well. I like the idea of getting more bases, but I think every base on the map has been taken. Oh, not this one. And not this one. Okay, so two bases have not been taken yet at eight minutes. Because that's what kind of map this is with the turbos. Toy Cop throw up forward Reavers to shut this down. Maybe T Rex not happy about this outcome. Carrier fleet from Critter is out. What's up, Andreas? Happy Sunday. Hey, guys, indeed. A long time member, Andreas. Holy. White has Dark Archons. Of course, can I play Police has Dark Archons? What else is he going to do in this turbo mode? Yeah. John Doe mostly tanks, but is starting to fire up some of these Goliaths. As both Saber Sword and Critter are carrying it. Woo! Big sneezes. Pretty sure I muted those, though. Maybe T-Rex is somehow not dead yet. Keeps making lings, I guess, is the way. Yeah, carriers are dying for Critter, but he does not care. GG. Maybe T-Rex taps. Toma says GG, too. Team Zerg leaves, and all we got left are Terrans and Protoss now.
D Matrix trying to keep John Doe alive here. Toy Cop needs to stop killing dead buildings and defend his teammate. Toy Cop, where are you, sir? He needs help. Ooh, maybe some lockdown? Ooh, some lockdown is very possible. I'm not sure lockdown is researched as a larger problem here, and these ghosts are getting sniped before they can get lockdowns off. Okay, I'm going to assume lockdown was not researched, because I'm pretty sure John Doe would have tossed that out if it was. Toy Cop continuing to kill buildings that are uh, from players that have left, I think. Did he actually leave? I don't know if maybe T-Rex actually left. The Mask Elias here from John Doe are kind of keeping him alive. Toy Cop did sound, send some 3-2-3 uh, three, 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 three Dragoons down to try to get rid of these carriers too. So not too bad, I guess. Kind of play please is built on Toma's corpse. He's going to scout over here and see what's going on. And he's going to find Toy Cop up here trying to do the same thing with Baby T-Rex's corpse. Got a little PvP here. Toy Cop versus Yimmy, but there are Reavers and Archons for one of these players. So that player is going to win. The carriers of Critter are retreating from the position. Carrier count intense. Archon, our Arbiters out here too, looking fantastic. Mm, can I play please? Wiping out this little, oof, this little probe setup that Toy Cop has up here in the top. Nobody's expanded here yet. Nobody's expanded here yet, although a bunch of this money's gone. And there are 46 minerals and no gas left at this base. Carriers are dying. I'm impressed. John Doe's basically dealt with two separate players with carrier fleets trying to kill him and has survived. In fairness, the stasises haven't been great. There's the first one I think I've seen today. D-Matrix has been plentiful. The ability to replace stuff is awesome. Tomo GG'd out and he's still got some lings running around. How in the name of Fergus McDudson does he have lings? Zero, zero lings, mind you, but they're still zerglings. Okay, now he's out. Now is he done? Zero supply? Yeah, all right. Neat. Farewell is cheering for Savior Sword and Critter to win. There's another good stasis. Ooh, Savior Sword recalling some High Templar and Zealots in. While they're cloaked. Need scouts or storm. He says to Toy Cop. Oh! Oh, oh, that was like five High Templar that died to Storm. That is some irony, some revenge at its core there. I mean, High Templar dying to Storm is not something you see every day. That was amazing and hilarious. <laughs> Jericho enjoyed that. Good stuff. John Doe's down to 60 supply and plummeting. He's under 60 now. Toma officially taps out, but he's been dead for a minute. Carriers are dying for Critter, though. This carrier micro isn't quite as good as Savior Swords, but Savior Swords is really good, so there's not a ton of shame in that. Huh. Stick just went in the Discord server and said there is a security breach for the arcade tab under StarCraft 2. Don't use any custom arcade tab because if you do, people can steal your IP and download data from it. 
Some people say they can't launch any games after the game crashed initially. Snap? That's... Oh, come on, Blizzard. That's not cool. Huh. Well... I mean, I just feel like Yumi and Can I Play Please have been hanging out for the most part. I mean, they killed Toma, but other than that, I don't think they've engaged with anybody else. This is a bit of a fight with Savior Sword, though, and Critter's joining the party, too, so they've joined it. Still alive, John Doe down here. Got his production, got a lot of supply. Could be worse. Toy Cop needs a second base, and I think he just scouted this one, and he is setting ooh, we've got this base too with being defensed by John Doe which is awesome nice I'm okay with nukes I like nukes stasising the dark archons I think one of them probably got mind controlled and then the storms and the flanks and save your sword eating more storms. He thought they were done. Hmm. Yep, Dark Archon's getting stasis. Not something you see every day. Interceptor's getting stasis as well. What's up, Phil? Um, you missed some good Phantom Mode stuff. That was kind of fun. You missed the first 16 minutes of a team turbo mode situation. The scouts. Of can I play please are sniping the Dark Templar because scouts counter everything. Oh, sniping High Templar, better value target here. Oh gosh, Toy Cop has lost a lot of High Templar. Ugh. Not good, not good. What's up, Tyrion? Happy Sunday. You missed all the Zergs dying in this game, I guess, Phil. Mind controlling. Mind control. Okay. So, <laughs> Toy Cop comes in. Mind controls a bunch of the carriers here that I think were Can I Play Pleases. But, there's Arbiters. Ah, uh, he's got to kill. Who is it? Someone's lagging out really hard. See you later, JTOX. There is our nuke silo. Haven't heard any nuclear launch detected though. The nice thing though is that it's red. Finding red on the minimap is pretty easy. So if we hear nukes detected, we just gotta check the red. Oh, this ghost is gonna die. There he goes. A little double teaming there from Critter and Savior Sword. Hilariously. Tyrion, no, 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 it's happening on StarCraft 2. This isn't a Brood War thing that I'm talking about. It's a StarCraft 2 arcade problem. So don't launch anything in the StarCraft 2 arcade today is what I'm hearing. Battle.net on Brood War is fine. Storm them up, boys. God, those tanks just ate a bunch of the storms. Nice pickup. Good save there by Yimmy. And then he unloads it. Oh, unloads a different one? Yeah, and gets a storm off and kills that tank. That was sweet. Super sweet. Okay, well, how are the resources left on this map? Not great. This is available. This is basically gone. And uh, I think everything else has been taken here before the 20 minute mark, which is one of the reasons I like Turbo. Not a lot of resources here. Yeah, I don't know what percentage of the StarCraft 2 player base is on Mac. I can't imagine it's that big.
Jericho says bot. What the heck? So numbers wise here, Critters uh, and John Doe are both pretty low on overall supply. Toy Cop at 150, Yimmy's 185, Kind of Play Please is 192, Saber Swords at 171. So, I mean, generally the trick here is that Kind of Play Please is pretty good on this map. John Doe's won a bunch here too, but with carriers, and he doesn't have carriers this time. Just has all the Goliaths in the world and a bunch of scout or bunch of ghosts what's up Stefano doing great today casting some Starcraft I don't, you, I don't think you can play Starcraft on Linux <laughs> pretty sure that's not supported Go, let's go. Nuclear launch detected. How on earth do you run StarCraft on Linux? Oh, give me that. that was like six eye Templar, man, or Dark Templar, rather. Nice hit. Ghosts make it out of there too. They're perma cloaks. Very nice. How do you run StarCraft on Linux? <sighs> Win E, says Adelthorn. Okay. Fair enough. I've never heard of anybody doing that before. That's cool. Thing about Linux, man, it's just like the utter, not the utter lack, there's just a distinct lack of support for games out there. It's, there is a version of Steam for Linux, but it supports like 25 games or something. Like, it's not great. It is not a giant library. Yep, Kashmir says things are fine. Looks like Savior Sword's making a push here on Yimmy, who's down to 89 supply all of a sudden. Oh, we're gonna get a stasis, aren't we? Gonna get, I mean, if you're just gonna eat storms, maybe you don't have to stay. Okay. Savior Sword was eating storms a little bit there, but then a stasis came in and saved him from himself because that was gonna be, uh. Well, I guess we were out of storm. No, nope. not entirely. No nukes again. Savior Sword. Stargus engine. Hmm, I haven't heard about that one. Stargus, nice double nuke though. Woo! That was beautiful. Chef's kiss right there. Oh, there's an obs. There's an obs. Lock him down, boys. Or die. Dying is an option too. These guys come out of stasis, immediately eat a bunch more storms, but. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, stay alive? No. One more storm wiped them right out. Right out. Critter's up here. He says, I can eat storms too. Oh my gosh, the storms though. Carriers, definitely not an option here. Save your swords as I got nuked. Uh, yes, you did. A few times. Accurate sentiment. Did I just hallucinate some red down here? I feel like I did. I wanted a nuke so bad that I hallucinated some ghosts. So can I play please at 6,000 minerals and 6,000 gas is well ahead of everybody else in overall money because he was able to take Toma's base, get this thing early, 
expand out here too, and he had center for a bit. I mean, center just gone at this point. No indication of where that was. Oh, there was a disturber right there. Tough. <laughs> Tough go. I know how to type, I promise. I'm a good typer. Alright, so again, can I play please as the favorite here? Toy Cops up to 202 supply though. I think that largely comes from mind controlling something of the enemies, less that he's mind controlled a worker. Oh, did he get an SCV? Okay, never mind. Jericho saw something I missed. Nice EMP on those carriers. These Dark Archons wander in here, mind control enemy Dragoons, force them to die. What is happening? Oh. Like, you may try to get a drop down here. Or maybe it was a Corsair that went down. Oh, that was the sound of a shuttle, for sure. For certain. And yes, Blaze. Pathfinding is tough. Feedback on a ghost that I just heard, too. That's pretty fun stuff. Siege tanks against low energy Dark Archons. Pop goes the weasel on that one. All right. So, can I play please? Got his scout army doing scouty scout scout things. Critter still have carriers? Um, yes, yes, he does. They're right here. Scout army hunting. I don't want to fight the dragoons, though. Hey, what's up, KW Camp? Clear launch detected. Huh? Dude, that has to be in vision. Doesn't it? It absolutely is in vision. Look at him just park an observer onto Oh. Okay, never mind. Yo, he had obs too. Hmm. You could stasis a ghost and cancel the nuke, right? Right. That would have worked. <laughs> ah, hunting Dark Archons with scouts. That's what we're here for today. He just takes down a Ragnasar. Kills a Falconas. Right, they have different names in this game. I totally forgot. John Doe says, I've had a lot of success down here with these ghosts. 
Nuclear launch detected. Let's do it again, boy. Where's that dot? There it is. There's that dot. Okay, not looking good for Xavier Sword. He's supply blocked. He's at 130 supply. Hey, what's up, Barat? Mind control is cool, but if all these games come down to it, it's a bit flawed. Yeah. I mean, mind control is definitely pretty good in games where all the money's gone. And mind controlling a unit means you killed it and it's not being replaced, right? Man, Critter taking nukes to the face here, too. I think Critter and Savior Sword are both supply block. Not as much for Critter, but still not good. They're just not defending their bases here. I'm doing good. I'm enjoying it. We've had some sunnier weather. It is 56 degrees outside, which is gorgeous Nuclear launch detected. compared to winter. So I'm very happy about that, about the sun, about the warmth. I don't think the heater kicked on last night once, which is awesome. Those double nukes against Protoss buildings are gorgeous. Yimmy's like, I guess it's time now. Critter says, I've lost all my stuff. I'm supplied. They're, I like how Savior Sword and Critter are both at 106 supply. That's kind of fun. Toy Cop has no idea. I don't know what that means. Toy Cop says, I guess we make a move. Yeah, I think the map is entirely mined out now. There obviously is going to be gas returned from these empty Vespine geysers, but not a lot. And as usual, you can't do anything in StarCraft unless you have minerals. So these mineral banks, once they start depleting, it's just can I play please can do a much better job replacing stuff in these upcoming battles. Uh yeah, Adderthorn. Definitely more people, substantially more people watch on YouTube. About 137 people watching now. Not about. That's exactly what YouTube tells me it is. And 20 people on Twitch. But I've been streaming on YouTube for longer. And just doing stuff on YouTube for longer too, so. It definitely makes sense. Also, YouTube technically has a, on average, will have a higher quality level. Like, I probably am getting 720 out on Twitch right now. <laughs> Look at these dots. I'm definitely getting 1080 here on YouTube and 1440 for... Uh, uh, 1440 on YouTube during the daily VODs anyway. I don't know, 1440 for a game launched in 1998 is kind of hilarious, but it is remastered. And it can work in 1440p. I think we can 4K it too, actually, which I've done before. But I can only run it in 30 FPS, and so that makes it tough. <laughs> Dude, Yimmy's down to 100 supply. Critter's basically dead. Save your swords up here. Fighting against Dragoons. Yimmy losing more and more supply, but can replenish on some level. He's got a bit of a bank here. Everybody's got a bit of a bank here. Save your swords is not big, but things are cheaper here in turbo mode. So we can... There's a stasis.
Can I play, please? Investing in... I'm assuming these will be Dark Archons. Are we mind control ping-ponging here? Good heavens. Probes took down a ghost somewhere on the map. <laughs> Bit of a standoff here between Toy Cop and Savior Sword. More Dark Archons here. They're being split by Toy Cop, so they can't just get EMP'd. But I don't think any... There's no enemies that have EMP, sir. Maybe stasis He doesn't want them to get stasis is the idea. Savior Sword's like, I know you're dead. <laughs> I don't know. Critter's got cash. He's got probes. What do you need from him, right? He can build some stuff. He can definitely build some stuff. Recall onto an Nexus that provides no value for anybody. Hey, what's up, Kyle D? Yeah, joining a live stream and then watching nukes is a pretty good experience for sure. Just immediately, blah. John Doe's been having a great time with his nuclear missiles. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, that's right. Tuna Antos theory. Don't leave until you're dead. You playing for second? Critter says, stop attacking them. Critter and Savior Sword are fighting? Hmm. What's up, Hell Patrol? Definitely hit that like button. 167 is a good number so far. 200 is our stretch goal every week. We might be able to hit it this time. We'll have to see. Yeah, Saber Sword and Critter are just straight up toast at this stage. I don't see them surviving. Critter's mad. Still mad. Wait, Critter and John Doe are fighting? That's weird. Critter GG's out. Critter's still really mad. Hey, what's up, Omar? Critter's more aggro than diplomacy. Hey, there's our lockdown. That's what we were waiting for. Finally, Ghost getting some lockdown down. Oof. Every care I think every carrier got locked down for Savior Sword. Relatively thankfully though, not every Goliath can hit them. That was fun, says Savior Sword. Are we still mind controlling over here? Mind control trades. No, looks like Toy Cop doesn't want to mind control anything there. Feedback. Ooh, feedback on a Dark Archon. Nice stuff. And then storming to finish him off. Sick moves. Sick moves by Yimmy. I think that's it. Save your sword at four total supply. Still fighting. You know, it's good against Zealots. Ghosts are pretty good. Save your sword taps. Critter's gone. 
It is now a 2v2 here. Toy Cop and John Doe versus Yimmy and Can I Play, please? You can definitely mind control Dark Archon, Omar. Hey, RJB. Nope, this is not the final game. We're going to do a Falcon Unrest after this, and then we'll be done for the day. Well, let's see what this comes down to. I mean, money bank-wise, as I've been saying, Can I Play Please has way more cash than anybody else. Can I Play Please tells his teammate to make Archons. I like that plan quite a bit. All right, gonna step away for just a second. I'll be right back as these players figure out what they wanna do.
All right, so this battle's been going on for a minute, huh? Toy Cop. Sure did. Total of 140 supply for Toy Cop and John Doe. Total of 270 supply for Kenna Play Please and Yimmy. Still a pretty decent bank here from Toy Cop. I mean, look, this is going to take a minute, but I really don't see a world in which Toy Cop and John Doe win this thing. They just have way less money, way less of a capability to do anything. I guess Yimmy is entirely out of cash, so that's not great for Team Can I Play, please. But there's just not much here for John Doe. I mean, a couple siege tanks. Got three siege tanks setting back here. Ooh, ooh, the storm on those ghosts was good. That was really nice. Why is there a probe in the mix? Guess to absorb shots. Not a bad idea. Shots, 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 shots. on a siege tank. Toy cop pushing. 600 minerals remaining. Again, everything's cheaper here in turbo mode. And then Zealots from Yumi just kind of running into their deaths here. But a little bit of storm causes a problem. Nice feedback on a something. There are some good options for feedback here. I'm not sure which one that was. Where is Can I Play Please's stuff? Kind of losing steam a little bit here, but he can, again, keep going for a lot longer. Ghost dying all over the place. You look like you want a nuke. You did. Nuke kills, and obs, and a high templar. Pretty effective, I guess. Could have been worse. Play please up to 149 supply, pretty much making mass zealot. It's got some archons up here, bunch of high templar too. Slow leapfrogging push of John Doe is slowly getting up here. Oh, snipe, that's good, getting some value. Quick up does have a bunch of stuff just sort of hanging out, doesn't he? That's true. Good spot. Ah, then he gets feedbacked. He locks down the science vessel, but then there's OBS. Feedback on a High Templar. Storm up. It looks like Yimmy's 
trying to break this tank line. Pretty good stutter step here by Toy Cop. Stasis. I feel like those units were going to die, except they got stasis. John Doe tapped. He doesn't have anything left. Toy Cop's probably going to fight till the bitter end. I don't know. He's not usually one to leave early. But maybe when he finds out that Can I Play Please has 2,000 minerals in the bank. <laughs> it's true. You fight anybody in this game? I kill the Zerg, and then Toy Cop taps. <laughs> All right, fair enough, dude. Oh, that's funny. All right, so GG. Can I play, please? And Yimmy. Pull it out, man. Can I play, please? Is a monster out here on Team Turbo. see toy cop ended up killing the most things so that does work yeah he and John Doe and toy cop killed the most stuff for any team here combined pretty impressive but resources here oh, no, John Doe outspent everybody by a pretty wide margin can I play please right there toy cop right there too huh all right real ultra catch ya John Doe sent me something in the mail. Did he now? Chrome! Stop freaking out on me. Man, Chrome's doing this thing where every once in a while it's like, must use 100% of the CPU for 20 seconds. I was like, why? What are you doing? Are you okay? Let's totally switch over to Firefox. Yeah, it's pegging my CPU right now. Because I went up and I clicked on a clicked on the URL bar to go to Gmail. Oh, this is worse. It's still pegging at a hundred percent. And it's screwing up with my stream. Great. Great, 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 great. Great back. Friggin' Chrome, man. <sighs> okay, we're good. We're good. Grab this new map from John Doe. Fucking unrest five. Excellent. Downloaded maps. Unrest five. Here we go. Here we go. Free for all. Free for all. You suck at coking. Bazump! Bazump's here! Yay! I'm glad Bazump's here. 
RJB, where are you? I did select a new unrest. Yeah, it's a new version of Falcon Unrest. Why would that crash your StarCraft? Nobody else's StarCraft seems to have crashed. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Yimmy's in. Or <laughs> maybe should buy a new computer. Maybe not. I mean, maybe you're not wrong. BNet system has a bug. Rock Jazz Bass. Okay, we're gonna get people in here that weren't in the last games. So we're gonna save your sword that thing. We're gonna Jericho this thing. I think we're good to go. here who is leaving comments on my YouTube channel right now Tong Wang left a comment video game donkey put out a new video about Star Wars Battlefront classic collection YouTube said I should watch a video about how to learn any language. Uh, I think I'm good. I think I'm good on learning languages right now. Tough Krieger's in. What's up, Tough Krieger? Tough Krieger in here, but who do I kill? Can't do it. We'll get you next time, Tough Krieger. Alright, man. Woo! It's another free-for-all, but this one is an eight-player free-for-all. No teams, unless people want to ally. We got Chad Goose here. Center spawn, center left spawn, pink, or magenta, depending on who you're talking to. Good place to spawn, honestly. Top side is a bad place to spawn. It's Can I Play Please? He's Protoss. A decent spawning location here is Bazump. He's a yellow Protoss. A decent spawning location down here, too, is Jericho as a Zerg. I do like the Brown Terrence position here for John Doe. It's okay. It's not great. This is a bad place to be. Oh, interesting. Kind of like... All right, interesting. So John Doe did do some edits to this map to make this less of a crappy place to spawn. I like it. White Zerg player here, baby T-Rex. This is a tough place to spawn too. It's our green Zerg player, RJB. And then finally, a good safe place, Hamster. Playing Blue Terran. Uh, generally, these center bases don't gen don't uh. Don't, they're not the ones to die first, I guess, here on this map. They could, 
they could definitely die first, but I just, I don't think I've ever seen it before. So I don't think we did anything to mess with this spawn location. But this one definitely has a little bit of a natural they can take that's a little bit protected as long as you're covering this, which is nice. And then can they be approached down up? Yeah, they could still be approached from the north and from this area too, which is where they get attacked most, but we'll see. Toy Cop has a very specific theory about where you're supposed to attack based on where you spawn. I'm not sure if anybody else necessarily subscribes to that theory, but it's a theory that he has anyway. RJB's YOLOing. That's not a good sign for anybody. He doesn't have a pool, though, so I don't know how he's YOLOing. Yeah, he's basically overpooling here on one base. Nope, he expanded, so he's going hatch pool. That's not YOLO at all. What are you talking about? Trying to mind games these people. That's what he's trying to do. <laughs> RJB continuing to YOLO. Amazing. Zealot pressure here from Chad Goose. Hamster's like, I'm too close to RJB. He's going to kill me. No, says RJB. You are cool. Hamster throws out a heart. That's nice. Ah, Jason. Um, Defended. All right. Hey, what's up, Ido Media? Ah, you missed the FFA. You, I mean, getting into it, yeah, but you haven't missed anything interesting. We're four minutes in. No one's died yet. That's good. RJB doing some ling pressure at four minutes. It's not crazy early, but it is, you know, just, just a little bit of poking around. This is more of a scouting force than like a I want to kill everything force, I think. Paklama. Paklama. I like this bunker positioning, by the way, from Hamster. Pretty good. Covered this area. You have to run through here to get to it. Covering the mineral line. Sick. Sick bunker positioning. Hamster's a good player. We like Hamster quite a bit. Ah, Ling's popping here into our J or John Doe's base, too. Good. See, both these guys had the exact same idea for bunker positioning. I like it. Protecting it very well against their Zergy Zerg neighbors. So, anybody try to attack? Can I play please yet? No, he's got a shield battery just in case that happens. What's up? Why has? Long time no see. How you doing? RJB says no because he's. I don't know. He's just kind of talking to himself over here. I'm not sure what his plan is. Getting sunkens. More sunkens. What is he mad about? I don't think he's even scouting anybody. I'm not sure what our DB is struggling. He's trying to mess people up. He's trying to make it sound like he's dying, I think, so that everybody's like, wait, hold on. RJB was trying to steal Hamster's second. <laughs> oh, that's what he's complaining about. Go, Vulture! Good Vulture Micro. Get those lings. Ah, see, there is a push here. Bazump on can I play please, but DT and shield battery and you gotta fall back if you're bazump. Oh, DT, DT. Oh no. Oh no, bazump's gonna die to early DTs from can I play please. Very possible. Got some A and W. Oh man. Now I want to go to A&W for lunch, but the closest one's like 20 minutes away. I don't know if I want to drive that far for it. 
but it's a combination KFC A and W. You can get fried chicken and burgers at the same time. They do. A and W has been in Utah since at least my dad was a kid. I think one of his first jobs was working at the A and W. So yeah. Oh, he couldn't save the Nexus. But Zump doesn't have enough money to rebuild the Nexus. He's done. But Zump is dead. Hey, Somicron. a and is a burger restaurant. Specifically, it's a brand of root beer, too. Is this a proxy? What is this thing that John Doe is trying to set up? Siege tank, engineering bay, turret. Just killed a bunch of hydras from baby T-Rex. That's weird. Man, back over here, bazump. Trying to take down Can I Play Please after he got knocked out of the game. All he's got left are these Dragoons, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's an a and in Utah that's been around since like 1960 or something. I don't think it originated here, but KFC reportedly did. KFC originated in Utah, which is kind of hilarious. Hey, what's up? Miku Alexander, thanks for becoming a channel member at the Hydralisk level. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Yo. Welcome aboard. So, yeah, I mean, a and the first one was in 1922 in California. And then it expanded a whole bunch of the 50s and 60s. So yeah, basically it franchised out to Utah in the 50s and 60s. Was the play. Be gone, thought, says RJB, who has Mutalisks popping out now and flying out somewhere to cause some problems. Yeah, we've got Sonics here in Utah too. Carl's Jr., a lot of options. Kind of like this from John Doe. It's interesting. He's basically holding this bridge. Favorite chicken place? Uh, Chick fil A. Best chicken. Mm. Best chicken. I like pastrami burgers. Yeah, local chain here. Astro Burger, Crown Burger. They're all owned by the same people, but for some reason they have slightly different names, but the menus are the same. They've got a pastrami burger that's pretty great. Got a Chick-fil-A, it's maybe five minutes away from my house. Not bad. A lot of options. There isn't an In-N-Out. It's a little bit further away from my place, maybe 20 minutes or so. Oh no, no, I'm just kidding. Maybe closer to 10, 15. Not bad, except every time I go there, they take forever. And they don't have an app. They don't have a website where you can order ahead. You have to show up and order and wait. And so the last three times I've gone in and out, because my kids want in and out and I'm a nice dad, so I get them in and out sometimes. It's been like a 20 minute wait for my food. It's like, okay, but the name of your restaurant is in and out like why is it taking you 20 minutes to make my food here but it's because there's a million people and they can't get through the orders fast enough it's stupid anyway this is the official death of bazump jericho shows up execute him Nice, why has Ooh, third cheeseburger. I am hungry. I've been snacking on some cashews and almonds here, which has been good. Good protein, but not quite the same thing as a cheeseburger. See you later, Bazump. GG, man. GG. Dude, J 
Chick oh, Chick-fil-A honey mustard sauce. Hey, what's up? Thanks for the 100 Romanian Leons. I think that's what they're called. Cashews are delicious. Derrico says, drop ship down, sucker. Hamster's like, I don't want a base. I'm sure you do. But seriously, in and out, I know you're busy. Let me use an app and order. And then it, you can take 20 minutes to make my food. Let me order it and then show up when it's ready. Pick my food up and go home. That's all I want. That's what everybody else does. Every other restaurant I've been to in the last three years lets you do that. I don't understand why In-N-Out refuses to modernize on any way. Oh, definitely got a bunch of Coke Zero here, why us? Sipping on that throughout the entire stream. All right, so Jericho is getting attacked here by Chad Goose, traditional Zealot Dragoon army with an OBS and a High Templar, just in case there's lurkers here. Maybe T-Rex is getting bullied. Storm. <clears throat> Why has likes people waiting in line for their food? Because it makes people come and wait in line for their food. I gosh, sure. I guess that works for a lot of people, not for me. Baby T-Rex is at nine total supply. He's been fighting some ZVZ garbage here with RJB. And I don't know if John Doe's been involved in this at all, unless he like high ground tank sniped this base, which seems possible. Chad's base is different. What do we got? It looks the same to me, a new small ramp. Uh, no. There it is. Thanks for the super chat. I go to places if it's not busy. I don't like. I don't give a crap if I go to Five Guys and there's nobody in the restaurant. I'm eating there because I know it's good. Chad Goose, small ramp. I don't see a mini ramp, but I'm also trying to do this stuff. Muto's getting chased away by Corsairs as per usual. Oh, I think Five Guys is worse than it was 10 years ago? Hmm. I don't know, man. I still think it's pretty great. I love their fries, too. They have the gosh darn best fries of anybody, I think. And their prices are definitely going up, but everybody's prices are going up. McDonald's prices are going up. We used to have like a dollar something double cheeseburger. Now it's like two bucks. I mean, come on. Doubling your prices, McDonald's? Honestly. Inflation's garbage. Muta's trying to fight for missile turrets. There are a lot of them. They've got plus one attack, which is nice. Yeah, I hear you, Critter. Yeah, I generally do not go to Five Guys, but about once every couple months, I'm like, I need Five Guys. I'm going to spend 20 bucks on food. But it's going to be worth it, and it is, but I can only do it every so often for budgetary purposes. Yeah, I mean, and generally what I'll be doing is using apps to buy food anyway, so I can usually get a lunch for like five bucks, either using, you know, loyalty points or some kind of a deal they've got in the app in several different places. So yeah, spending 20 bucks at Five Guys is tough because they don't have that. Mmm, peanut oil. Mmm, why has delicious. Yeah, I mean McDee's is up their prices, so this base is dead. But 
the app has some amazing deals for McDonald's. Like, you can totally get, like, a 10-piece nugget and a Big Mac for five bucks. Most days. I mean, that's a ton of food for five dollars, you know? They're probably the best at it. But, yeah, if you're just paying menu prices for stuff... It's almost like they are forcing you into using the app, you know? Mayo, barbecue sauce, green peppers, tomatoes, jalapenos, and bacon. That sounds pretty great, gotta say. Alright, so who's dead? Baby T-Rex is effectively dead. Everybody else is kicking. They're alive. There are a couple different muta flocks just flying around. But there's Corsair Balls, too. Yeah, the RJB's got a Muta Flock. Jericho's flying around with a Muta Flock, too. Once Mineral only has a gas. I love stairs base. Stairs base makes me laugh. Because it's stupid. That's why I like it. And now there's Valkyries too. Yeah, so basically everybody who's not Zerg is going anti muta tech right now, because it makes sense. There are a couple pretty big muta flocks causing problems out here. See, there's more mutas from Jericho getting chased off by the Corsairs. RJB and Can I Play Please largely being left alone. Not ideal for anyone. I mean, I don't know. RJB's been attacked by Mutalisks just recently. This base had Mutalisks at it just a second ago. So I wouldn't say Can I Play Please has been left alone. Hamster doesn't like being in the middle spot. I mean, it's honestly better than... I, just, I would take middle spots, that's all I'm trying to say. I guess it's harder to spawn here and then expand out to these islands, right? If you're in the middle? I suppose that is a problem with being in the middle, but you're not going to die first either. That was an incredibly funny game, Farewell. I do remember that one. RJB comes back after being AFK for like 40 minutes and is like, huh, this game's still happening, and then he wins. <laughs> Oh, that was incredible. That's like the greatest free-for-all of all time. Just for that reason. Yeah, and now there's a million Goliaths, too. The Mutas are just like, ah, Georgie, have a good night, dude. Sleep well. Upgrade, still not great from Jericho. 1-1 one, one on his dudes. How about the Mutalisks for RJB? 1-0, but his Ultras have 3-1. He's going Ultra Drops, too, which I, as a matter of principle, have to support. Hey, what's up? Spartacust, welcome back. Huh. Mm, that's a lot of Ultralisks from RJB, man. It's at 163 supply. 30 ahead of RJB, tied with Hamster. Sending Scourge out to see typical and traditional landing spots. And he's like, if you only have Corsairs, then I know what can kill you, he says. Pretty much anything on the ground. Hamster trying to take this 12 o'clock little islandish base. Not good. The mutas are still alive. Causing all sorts of problems for all sorts of folks. lift and I'll let you go, he says. No, I have Valkyries coming in. Die. Oh, gosh, die. Oh, gosh, the split was late. No, go kill him. Valkyries, you can win this. Why are you falling back? Guys, 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 guys. Fine, just swap bases. Oh, 
RJB gonna lose all his Mutas. I think he probably knew that. Just kind of, oh, storm his own Corsairs a tiny bit. And Diplomacy is in play. These Ultras, I think can kill Can I Play Please. I really do. Most of his supply seems to be in Corsairs. Although he's probably making carriers at this point. Maybe T-Rex on his own little island with hiders and lurkers. We've got Chad Goose pushing up left side against Can I Play Please's attempts to expand it to the entire world. Ultra is at 2 2. Save your sword with the update. And again, Can I Play Please really only has Corsairs. So, <laughs> got some Zealots, a couple DTs. Snipe enemy obs and let the DTs go to work, maybe? Is that the play here? I feel like this is a fight. Hmm, plus three at this stage of the game is not bad. I mean, armor would be nice, but hey, whatevs. Obs, get out of there. Disruption web. Very nice. Yes, there are carriers out from Can I Play Please now. I like how there are broadlings here from Jericho. I'm not sure that John Doe knows about him, but why is he not expanding here either? Got enough money to do it. He's taking these bottom bases. He's got a nuke silo, because of course he does. Because of course he does. The Ultralisk drop on Hamster. Oh my gosh, that's so many. That is so many Ultralisk. They don't have their plus 3-3 three, three yet, but uh, at this stage of the game, they're going to be just fine. How many tanks you got? How many spider mines you got? Muta's flying in to distract. They don't really want to survive. They're just here to take shots from the Goliath so the Ultras get more work done. Someone's lagging out. Crazy bad during this battle. We're actually at 23 minutes and the only player dead is Bazump. That's pretty surprising. Usually we have at least two players dead by this stage, but not today. Yeah, Hamster's in trouble. Siege tanks firing from across the way, defending his own base from across the way, which is interesting. Ah, got a DT over here, causing problems for Jericho. It gets wiped out. And the Corsairs come back in, and the anti mutilisk tech is real. Are these bro? Ah, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky boys. Yeah, these ultras keep coming down here and then getting Ow, wrecked by siege tanks. Yeah, that siege tank positioning is pretty good. John Doe making a push down here on Jericho too. Jericho got about a hundred supply. The hive is going down. Yuta's going to take down a command center in his revenge here from Jericho, but he loses his hive, which is a really important important piece of tech for sure. RJB making the accusations of the stream sniping, as he has to do in every one of these free-for-alls. You got a big plague on these ultras. Yo, that's a lot of plagued ultras. Not all of them. But look at all these. You can't see them all, but you can tell. 
but they are all plagued because of the giant splotch of red on their butts. Welcome back, Critter! Uh, okay. Maybe T-Rex thinks he can do something here. Oh. Is this enough Hydras to deal with these Ultras? I mean, they have been plagued. At least finishing off the ones that are plagued in particular would be a good thing. There we go. A couple of them go down in quick succession. There are still a couple low HP Ultras. Target firing them would be good, but also standing in is not ideal. Ultras, man. Pretty, pretty strong. Can I play, please? 191 supply. Carrier fleet. Corsair support. Coming in to finish off Chad Goose, who's under 100 total supply. RJB says, I am not poor. Yeah, I think Chad Goose might be done. He hasn't really found many places to expand from the center, as we established. Trying to dodge storms with the ponderous turning radius of these carriers, but Chad gonna lose both of his big boys. Hamster says, my entire army is Valkyries. That's probably not good for winning this game. And it probably isn't. Two more carriers have joined the party for Chad Goose, though. Single Goliath from John Doe wanders over into Baby T-Rex's base for some reason. Oops. Like, he knows these units are here, so he doesn't want to expand here, but he's long-distance mining from this location. I don't even know. How dare you try to kill this Rhinodon? <laughs> we will kill you for your crimes. Say those Dark Templar. <sighs> Ooh, cannon, cannon, cannon. Chad Goose trying to DT shenanigan while taking carriers to the face, which is interesting that he's microing these DTs. Ooh, 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 this might be all right, though. Nice. Does that tell you your units are under attack because it's two attacks, even if they're simultaneous? That's what I would like to know. Dark AB, Dark Swarming, going after the Hive. Dude, where is... Where did those Ultralisks go? Classic John Doe. <sighs> John Doe laughing at RJB as he likes to do. Oh, here comes here comes the thunder. No way. No way. Not even close. <laughs> Where did RJB's Ultralisks all go? Stream snipe. There you go. John Doe with the accusation as well. RJB getting siege tank dropped by hamster. That's not good. RJB losing another source of income. This is mining out. This is still okay for this map. And this is okay too, but mining, dude, you lost all your muted like an idiot. Jericho in trouble. Still under 100 supply. The carrier fleet of Kata Play Please is big. He's got Archon or uh, Arbiters with them now. As he will do. Big old Doom Drop out of John Doe. He's feeling it. He's feeling Doom Droppy. He unloads some tanks 
and then is like, never mind. There are carriers. We're leaving now. Can I play please? Just stole a base and warped in a new one. And maybe can take this too. So can I play please? It's like, I got 10,000 minerals, might as well. Baby T-Rex is murdering RJB. I need to figure out what happened to those Ultras. Because what happened to those Ultras? There were a bunch of them. And it wasn't Dark Swarm Hydra that killed them. Because, obviously, maybe they got plagued again? Honto listening to the stream, reacting to my uh, comments about RJB. Not enough mutas to handle this many Corsairs, let alone these carriers. Like, not even close. So, Jericho's gonna die. Hamster's hanging on for the 122 supply here. Radiates one of the lurkers. The other one is getting Siege Tank destroyed. Three shots to kill a lurker. Aight, aight. And looks like the last pulled out. Oh, he's getting double teamed at the same time. Oh, man, that sucks. Jericho's getting hit by John Doe and Can I Play Please simultaneously. Can I Play Please backs out. It's like, I don't want to be part of this. Maybe I'll come down and kill your stuff, John Doe. Oh, that's funny. It's like, sure. <laughs> I don't want to work with you. Ooh, disruption webs all the Goliaths, too. Oh, that's incredible stuff. He's like, I wanted the solo kill on Jericho. Screw you, Terran. Any disruption web left for these Hydralisks? Or do we use all of that energy to make this giant ball of disruption web down here? Seems like that might have happened, actually. <laughs> cor nope, of course, there do have enough. Wait, is it 150 for disruption web? That seems like a lot. I've not made Disruption Web in a while. It's just not doing it. What? This is such an, like, tight position. Pa, ridiculous. He can kill that. Just Disruption Web, the whole darn thing. Kill the Hydras, win. Hmm. John Doe's like, you killed my stuff. How did he get stuff all the way over here? I don't know, but it's dead now. As it is, boy, six hours and five minutes on the stream today. Chad Goose trying to make something happen with his two carriers, but again, not having a great time. Did RJB go AFK on us? What is he doing? He's got double Ultra cabin, Cavern, Lurker Drone, 200 APM. Not spending any of his mineral bank here. I don't know, Critter. Alright, so... This looks like it's the death of Chad Goose. Chad Goose is at four supply. The John Doe hamster fighting over this base looks like it's over. Chad Goose is letting everybody know that Can I Play Please is away from his home with all of his carriers. So could get backstabbed, I believe is the idea. I love the little mineral patches. There's 68 minerals on this mineral patch. Just little mineral patches. Because resources are so low here. Everything helps, yeah? 100 minerals on this one. You have to, you have to like, drop mine it, too. Maybe T-Rex says, you killed him. I let you live, says RJB. Well, thank you for letting me live. You're still dead.
no lockdown, but ghosts are definitely dying. That is a lot of Goliath. Can I play please? Getting out of there with his 3-3-2 three, three, carriers. 3-3 three, three on the Goliaths. lot of ultras it's true oh I'm trying to go for a drop oh it actually kind of worked hang on what's each think is firing oh that's each think is firing on the high ground ultras are stupid they couldn't fit through the gaps <laughs> this one hydra is microing trying to avoid scv shots trying to avoid attacking the valkyries oh he trapped back here Ah, SCVs took him down. SCVs are good fighters, man. How to throw that out there. Brown, huh? Ah, left side. Kind of play pleases, I don't know, like sixth base or something. RJB hiding a bit here. Chad Goose's one probe hanging out. Shield batteries to fall back to if necessary. Baby T Rex. GG's out. He has not enough money left. Why are you attacking me? Says Hamster. Our debut's revenge. RJB's revenge on Baby T Rex is looking good. On to Baby T Rex taps out. GG Baby T Rex. Another one bites the dust. Stasis on these guys is pretty good. Arbiter dying for the second stasis is not ideal. Ghost gets sniped. I'm not sure if it was trying to go for a lockdown. Didn't look like it. More Arbiters joining this party. Yeah, John Doe. There you go. Gets the disruption web out. Where was that when he was trying to take down Jericho, who's still alive, mind you? No way. Good pullback. Way to see the dot. Kills a single Goliath. Ooh, that stasis wore off just at the right second for John Doe there. Didn't end up losing any of the guys that were stasis. That was amazing. The mutas of RJB. Just, man, mutalisks at this stage of the game, huh? When there are giant Corsair balls and Valkyrie balls everywhere. No, I think RJB secret is a different thing. I don't think it's what Hamster just found. Well, there's the lockdown. What's the follow-up to the lockdown, though, is a larger problem. No, RJB, please. With his 
Okay, it's an 11 Muta stack, all with plus one attack and no armor, though. That's funny. Hmm. Yeah, these carriers all got locked down, but there was nothing to kill them. Can I play, please? Taking his lucky stars there. That's a good question, Farewell. I don't know how many Goliath hits specifically it takes to kill an Interceptor, but I don't think it's one. Chad Goose's final pylon's in trouble. He's got a couple pylons, actually. Here's one of them. This observer's like, no, leave it alone. Leave it alone. RJB trying to make something happen with his little Mutalisk army. Uh oh, little trapped. RJB is not funny. Oh gosh. Doesn't even kill that turret. Just gotta get out of here, boys. Just gotta get on out. RJB says there's more lag. Hamster says, can I play please? Took no damage. Why could RJB ever spawn next to Can I Play Please and drop 50 Ultra Lists on him? That would have been pretty good. There was a point where I said that should have happened. 1 0 Hydras, man. Not a lot of Hydra list upgrades here from Jericho, but they will do pretty well against probes nevertheless. Oh, he's got a DT. Alright. Ah, he burrows. Nice. Lurker's got nine kills. Not bad, not bad. Uh, they do... Interceptors do heal after docking. They get back into the carrier, they heal up, they go back out. Correct. Which is pretty nuts, honestly. Although carriers would be a lot worse if that wasn't the case. And I don't know that they necessarily need... Some kind of a nerf, right? Not really. Preach. Preach, save your sword. Hmm. Hamster making a push at the same time that John Doe is from right to left into Can I Play Please territory. This, is, this could get interesting if kind of play please gets pulled in two places at once. I'm not sure if he can handle that. A lot of his tech is up this way. Hamster says, peace. What is RJB doing? I can't even see his mutalisks. Is he attacking stuff? No? Oh, there's a DT in here, guy. Tom set. Comms that? Comms that? Oh, he's killing ghosts. Hamster at 181 supply is pretty tough. Can I play please? Does have an army. He's just distracted right now. Finally. Our John Doe gets a scan and can't get rid of that DT. RJB, uh, can I play please rather heading up that way, but I'm gonna start losing bases here. He's got 10,000 minerals and 15,000 gas, though. Again, monies. Monies. I did, RJB. I found it. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, man. Ruffles cheddar is delicious. I'm with Farewell on this. Sorry, man. I haven't had it for a while, though. Okay, hmm. Valkyries. Stasis. Lockdown available. Here comes the engage. 
Valkyries trying to kill Interceptors as well as they can. Do the Ghosts have locked down? They do lock down the Arbiter first. Good. His anti-air is pretty woeful otherwise, though. But if you can lock down the Carriers and they can't fight back, then suddenly Valkyries are incredible. And here comes John Doe swinging up this bottom side, causing all sorts of problems for Can I Play Please as well. Did he lock down an Interceptor by accident? <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> That's fun. Okay. All right. Can I play please getting squozen? I know that's not the past tense of squeeze, but I think it should be squozen. Squozed. Look at this. Getting pushed. Push, 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 push. He's like, where those carriers go? I don't know. They're dealing with a bigger threat of a million Goliaths down here. There's the disruption web. Get out of the disruption web. There you go. Fall back. Focusing. One of the carriers did die. Carrier group relatively healthy. There are 10 of them. What is happening over here? Lurker drop. Goes after John Doe. Snipes a base that doesn't have any money at it. I'm going to lose some lurkers and stuff for it. Whatever, I guess. Carriers fall back? Carrier group falls back. Can I play please? It's like I'm getting pushed. At the same time, by two separate players, you'll notice Can I Play Please is not complaining about getting double teamed because Can I Play Please is a gentleman. There's a lurkery stuff that RJP is managing to get away with. This base is everything, dude. That base is so important for RJB and just that he has anything right now is that. <sighs> See ya, Yimmy. Yeah, can I play police's production is three Stargates. Once these gateways are all dead, and I think they're going to die, Hamster's like, so... Get some scans out there, Hamster. Figure out what's going on. I can't attack islands. Well... Figure it out, I guess. Jericho still technically alive. I love this lurker position up here. Very funny. Got five kills. <laughs> Look at him. Missing attacks. Ah. Is a lur Oh, that's a fun thing. John Doe taps. Go kill hamster, he says. Not me. All of the money. Uh, yeah, so lurkers, are they the only unit that can make an attack on even ground and miss in StarCraft? Is that it? I think that's it. open for dropping like really open for dropping right now but I don't think anybody has eyes on it oh you're right reavers can miss too so reavers and lurkers then And I play please very smartly going after bases that belong 
to his enemies and taking them out. He's got enough money, but keeping his enemies from getting money is very important. My drone river lord. And it looks like Jericho is kaput. When there are enough interceptors that they kind of blot out the sun, you know you're in a lot of trouble. The Dark Swarm Hydras are doing some work, but there aren't enough of them, and you can't protect the buildings, and bam. Camping wins again, says Jericho. RJB trying to get in here, but no, there's Corsairs. Why? <laughs> nice farewell. Sure. All right, pull time. There's our pole. Get drops. Uh oh. Can I play, please? Says, uh uh. I don't know, man. Can I play, please? Just poking in so patiently here. Hamster being patient, too. Lock it down. Lock it down. Okay, killed it. Stasis up. Catch and come with some of the Valkyries here. Okay, more. there comes the lockdowns. Can I play, please? Can't leave these carriers. But I think they're dead anyway. Another big stasis. What's up, Ara Ara? Welcome back home. The stasis are so good. Chad Goose is at 500 APM somehow. RJB's base got discovered by a single Goliath. I don't know, man. Hamster might just be getting wiped here. Kind of play please is like let's just we're just gonna fight this straight up. We'll eat some lockdowns, but it's, it's fine. We can win. There's really not enough anti-air against carriers here. Valkyries were neat, but not enough Goliaths or Wraiths, right? heard about the mass recall mod in StarCraft 2. Yes. Have not played it though. Kind of interested in it. I know uh, it's funny all these remakes of old campaigns and new clients. Someone pointed me the other day towards a Warcraft 3 campaign. Warcraft 2 campaign? Warcraft 2 campaign that's playable in Warcraft 3 which is kind of neat. Hey, what? Yeah, Jericho says camper wins. I mean, generally. Hmm. 
Looks like most of you think, can I play please? But 20% for RJB, 20% for Hamster. Kind of tough after Hamster kind of lost his entire army and has a thousand minerals in the bank, right? Right. Double or radiate on the muta. Oh my gosh, that hurt. Oh, that hurts. Okay, RJB's mutas are very injured. Why are you picking on weak people? I don't think he wanted to split. Yeah, I saw that, man. Wow. Money getting real low, fellow. We've got stairs mining. Gotta love the stairs mining. We've got the gas now, too. Oh, screwing up the pathing on these drones, though. The gas ones are like, wait, what do we do? Some of them are okay. Ghosts are dead. Lockdowns don't really matter if all the ghosts are dead. John Doe says he's out. He's out with a fout. And Phil is hungry. Hamster's like, uh, I've been trying to get stuff. Ooh, look at that. He's got some wraiths now. He's got a battle cruiser for good measure. Jeff H. That's right. The last little bit of the stream. We're at six hours and 30 minutes. A 32A win. 32A has not been here today. We miss 32A. 32A is a great player. Yeah, I mean, if really it's all that only Hamster can really mount a challenge to Can I Play Please here, I just don't see it. <laughs> Stasis to Mutas. Not something you see every day. What are you going to do? Stasis him again? Oh, I think he's trying to get the carriers in a position to wipe them out. Mm-hmm. Sounds about right, RJB. Stasis. Look at the split. Look at the mutas drifting apart here. They do. They keep flapping even when they're in stasis. Mutas are funny that way. They try to split and run, but all of them die. All right, RJB. 45 total supply to his name. A lot of those are drones. A handful of lings and a defiler here. 
Why are you so passive with your mass carrier, says RJB? It's a fair question. Ooh, hang on. There are some cloak wraiths. A plague? Okay, working together here. Cloaked wraith. Plague on the carriers. Maybe. Only two, and you can stasis stuff you can't see. And there's a shield battery. And there's an obs now. Okay. All right. That was fine. That was fine, I guess. The Defiler gets another plague off, but paid for it with his life. RJB. You can make more defilers, he says. I have the tech for that. Looks like Hamster is kind of fighting with RJB, though. You guys were sort of working together, though. Ugh. Filer down. RJB trying to suck up the remaining resources left on this map from this base. Which has several thousand minerals left on it and 4,000 gas. But Scout Marine Army has discovered it. Forces a cancel. Go, Scout Marine Army. Chad Goose's APM is 600 and... No, 700. Hamster's just kind of messing with everybody. Again, lockdown is great. Hey, Chad Goose back up to a thousand APM. Hooray. More lockdown, more lockdown. But no Goliaths, no Wraiths, no nothing. Okay, hang on. Wraith's fighting, but I think they've... Yeah. There were obs there. <laughs> it took out a bunch of the carriers. It certainly did. D-Matrix, Science Vessel, running for it. Gets an EMP off right before it dies. Gotta get that value, man. And these Science Vessels die on the way out. Hamster's at 78 supply. He's got, um... Some more of the same here. Gonna be a tough break. Another plague catches a couple of these carriers, but they'd both effectively been plagued already. John Doe tap. Psst. Who we got left? Hamster, Chad Goose, RJB, can I play please? Can I play please down to 700 minerals? Lost some carriers there, trying to replant them and rebuild them. 122 supply back. Three stargates flashing. Base is really important. Like, really important. RJB plagues, consumes the overlord, burrows. That's fun. Can I play, please, just with... Is he just sending, like, a million obs down this way? He is. He's like, I will never run out of detection. RJB fighting hamster for some reason.
This base needs to die, and I'm not sure they can kill it. Got another plague off. That's fun, but the filer's dead. RJB at 63 supply has this base. Stairs base is stairs base. How many obs are in this ball? Yeah, he's not dive bombing in there because I don't think he can. Hold on, hold on. Alright, can I play please as last base is directly under assault by a million ghosts with zero attack and zero armor upgrades? Can I play please very cautiously trying to set up a way? He does lock down a couple of the ghosts, race dive bomb in to snipe the Arbiter and they get it. They got plus three attack on those race. These guys hit. These guys hit. Why are can I play, please? Does have enough money to replant the Nexus if it comes down to that, but he's going. The lockdowns are coming in fast and hard. Does he have enough lockdown and enough wraith? No. He does not. He does manage to lock down four of the carriers and an Arbiter. But there's an OBS in this mess. He's fighting the carriers, but losing the race down to 60 supply. Can I play please? Also at 60 supply, his carrier group is seven? No, no, there are more carriers than that left, hamster. We can EMP them to death. Uh, yeah, Suga. Observers stop working when they've been locked down. Lockdown wears off. Wraith kills another one. Wraith kills another one. Five kills on that Wraith and two of those at least are carriers. This is intense. You know what would be amazing is Dark Swarm here. Here comes a battle cruiser. What's up? Hatrikipi, thank you for following. Welcome to the Sunday Brood War. Is there... Oh my gosh, this Wraith. This Wraith. Ooh, the OBS got blinded, but another OBS shows up and the Wraith gets wiped out. Battlecruiser, stasis, science vessel down. Hamster at 45 supplied. A lot of this. Is this battle cruiser? Hamster says, <laughs> "Can't say I didn't try." Correct. Cannot say that. Okay, RJB gets his revenge, another plague. I think three of these four have already been plagued, but the other one getting plagued is nice. Yeah, the Arbiter is getting plagued too. They're all plagued. Everything is plagued, man. Everything is plagued, except for this shuttle and this observer. And actually both the observers, but still. I don't think RJB wins. Mm -hmm. 
RJB continuing to mess with Hamster just to make it interesting. This is Defiler, man. He has plagued the ever-loving heck out of all of these buildings. There's nothing to kill them, though. You can't use Restoration on Stasis units because you can't target them. Restoration is a targeted spell, not an AoE spell. I don't think three Devourers would win this, no. Mostly because Stasis exists. And because Devour DPS is garbage. Yeah, hamster, what do you want to do? What is this wanna? Scourge. Get stasis! One connection, I think, might have happened there. Maybe. Maybe might have happened there. Sure. Got an Arbiter. There's still two more. This mining from Kinda Play Please is everything right now. Everything he kills. Every Defiler that dies. Big deal. And this is mining out for RJB. He's trying to do this again. Okay, carrier down. Connection there. Holy crap, there's only two carriers left for Can I Play Please? But, he could make more out of his on fire. Oh, look at the spread by RJB. He's avoiding, takes down an Arbiter. One Arbiter remains. Yeah, these two Scourge can kill this carrier, I think, or this carrier. Either one is extremely vulnerable to Scourge here. Hoping that they target this shuttle when they come out of stasis and there's a single interceptor in stasis too. Freaking RJB, man. Okay. Scourge nothing. Good. Corsairs wipe those out. That's a good win for sure. Another bit of a Scourge ball here. Sniping and odds, but they've been revealed. They do have three Carapace. RJB did manage to get that upgrade. I don't know if you want to snipe obs with these. Ooh, that was like three Scourge for an obs. That was not ideal. There you go. Ob's down. Scourge, no connections. There's another Ob, so the Lurkers are not going to win. That totally sucks. Overlord dies, too. Brutal stuff. Arda, Arda, you might be thinking about Defilers when we're saying Devourers. So, Defilers are the wiggly guys that look like kind of worms that have been wiggling around out here and... Throw in the plague on these buildings. Those are defilers. They don't have an attack. They just cast spells. But devourers are the flying big dudes. Oh, here's a defiler, right? Devourers are big guys you morph in from mutalisks that can shoot purple goop. And they do damage and do a debuff at the same time. But they attack so slowly that it almost doesn't almost doesn't count as damage. I think it's 25 damage per hit, which you'd think would be awesome, but they attack so slowly. And they're only single target damage. <laughs> Hamster's like, my commsats are dead. Why would you do this to me at RJB? He's like, ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I don't think RJB is going to win this. Look at see how there is income. RJB has 27 minerals, and Can I Play Please has 300 minerals and a bunch of cash.
worker fight, hilarious, which has got plagued. One of his tanks got plagued. And then he dark swarms it. Oh, that's interesting. So he plagues it and dark swarms it. So he hurts it, then he helps it. <laughs> dark swarms each tank. Can you kill this Nexus? Can I play please? Does not have the money to rebuild it, but now he does. Never mind. We're good. How is it teamwork if you plagued me, says Hamster. It's a fair point. Another dark swarm. I give you a swarm. Okay, so Nexus down. This is the dumbest, dumbest end of a free-for-all we've had in a while. This is why I enjoy this. Drone drop on Can I Play Please's production facilities is pretty funny. Out of RJB. Yeah. Drones. Good effort, guys. Very awesome stuff. Hamster's mining now. So Hamster's mining. It's a Mastifile or some Zergling army here. Swinging. What's up, Pranin? Swinging across the map. Pazuzu's going for Chad Goose. Ooh. Okay, RJB. Actually, more supply than can I play, please, at this stage. Hold on. That's a weird place for a Dark Swarm, man. Oh, a sick plague on all of these Corsairs, though. That's got to be so frustrating for can I play, please. Hey, what's up, Mr. 2XT? Good morning. Good Monday morning to you, sir. This might actually turn into an RJB win. Holy smokes. Shield batteries healing up these carriers. They have no HP, but they've got full 150 shields now. RJB somehow managed to get a bunch of 3-2 Hydras with that stair base that it was able to hang on to and secret base, too. Stasises are going to be real. That's a bat. That's a humongous. God, those stasises are good. A plague on the Arbiters, but the Hydras have to retreat from their buddies because they're going to die. Scourge connecting on an Arbiter. I don't, I don't think they took one down. There are still three Arbiters here. Two of them have been plagued. <laughs> Mr. 2XT. Finish it soon, dude. Do it for us. Do it for you. You can do it. We believe. Okay, so now he needs to time it to when the stasis wears off. Then he disruption webs it. Where are his overlords? Everything here is cloaked anyway. My gosh, the disruption webs are so good. Ugh, Dark Swarm, though. Good counter to all of this stuff. Here we go. Here we go. Dark Swarm Hydra eating those Interceptors. Can I play, please? Not a lot of money to replace Interceptors right now. Another one goes down as it tries to go back to safety inside the carrier. I thought you were dead, says Hamster. Hamster is also not dead. He's still mining, which is bonkers. Dark Swarm up. 
That's the answer to all of this, man. You can stasis your way into delaying RJB, but if he's Dark Swarms, you can't you can't kill him. There is no killing here for Can I Play Please. Yeah, Can I Play Please. Not enough money to build a new Nexus. Can't replace Interceptors that well. He's going to be fighting with Arbiters at some point here. He's going to try to force RJB. Trying to force him to get up here. Four carriers here. Did he get an EMP? Ooh, we got an EMP off. These guys are insanely injured. A couple of them are down to, like, single-digit HP. Not all of them, but a couple of them totally are. Like, this guy right here is at 11. Overlords? Yeah. Overlords are dying. But man, interceptors that die. A Defiler got wiped out, but that cost two or three interceptors. Interceptor count cannot be particularly great here. Chad Goose leaves. No, Chad Goose. <laughs> Toy Cop was rooting for you, Shield Battery. Drained of its energy, but it did give what it could to these carriers that took the EMP previously. Okay, Zerglings wipe out the shield battery. Can I play please? Doesn't have use of that anymore. Where's the Dark Swarm? Dark Swarm these Hydras! Dark Swarm these Hydras! I know you're chasing Dark Swarm the Hydras! Oh my gosh! It's better to sit here and Dark Swarm kill interceptors than it is to chase. My goodness, that was dangerous. The Corsairs are all dead. That's nice. And that's it. I think you drop. Man, I don't know. You're going to get stasis if you come back in here. Try to drop in here, man. Okay, a couple more interceptors die. Hey, Adam V, thanks for subbing. Welcome, sir. Five interceptors on that carrier, seven on that one, four on that one, and six on that one. So it's not a lot of interceptors, and his ability to replace them is nil. Oh, he dark swarms to protect himself. It gets another plague off. Um, plague's not doing anything to these carriers, I'm afraid. Definitely not doing anything to these carriers. Bazump coming with what he's got, man. Couple wraiths, some medics, couple ghosts, Goliaths, siege tanks. It's a hodgepodge group. But it is what it is. RJB says, this is a stalemate. I can't get up there, but you can't kill me either because Dark Swarm. 
Okay, a couple carriers die. RJB taps with all of his Hydras and Defilers. No! <laughs> no! No, 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 no. Once you... Oh my gosh, there's a carrier with four interceptors left here. D-Matrix drop ship sneaking in. Goliath comes out. D-Web screws with the targeting on everything in here. He's trying to get out of the range of the D-Web. He can't do it. Another D-Web comes up. The ghost dies. The lockdown on the Corsairs is good. Oh my gosh. Stasis on the drop ship. Lockdowns on the Arbiters are good. Carrier still alive. Goliath comes out of it. Carrier down. Arbiter down. Can I play please? Might have just lost it. Hamster. Hamster pulls it off at the end. Are you kidding me? Can I play please? GG's out. And Hamster wins it in an hour and 27 minutes. Holy cannoli. Oh. <laughs> My game is crashed. That's fantastic. I'm really good. X Benedict says, good game, well played. I knew not killing RJB would pay off, says Hamster. It sure did. It sure did. Man, I cannot believe they whittled down Can I Play Please's bank all the way down to one. He had three, four times as much money as anybody else in the final half an hour of that game. And Hamster and RJB just kept picking and 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 picking. Insane. RJB ends up outmining everybody some miraculous way. He had that top right corner. He took a base at the center middle and a stairs base to the upper left of that, too. That helps a lot. But man. Ultralisks are not cheap. That's true. GG! That's it. That's going to be it from me. I mean, this has been Falcon Paladin with another Sunday Brood War stream. Thanks, everybody, for sending me replays. To falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of Brood War. We'll do more of these next week. Same time. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Follow. Do whatever you can do to get more Brood War next week, guys. Because this is awesome. That was so cool. Wow. Thanks to... What do we got here? Super Chat from Alexander. And became a channel member. Awesome stuff. We got subscribe uh, subscriptions on Twitch through Prime from Adderthorn and Icy Scarge. Got a super chat from Bjorn Budinger, Arcadiox. Bovine re-upped his membership for 19 months. Kyle with a $10 super chat and a $25 super chat. On top of that, a Settler resubs with Pride for four months in a row. Cross $5 super chat. Buzzard $5 super chat. And a couple days ago, Get Trap resubbed with Pride for 20 months in a row. Fantastic. Love y'all. That was amazing. Thank you so much for being here. My goodness. And let's raid somebody real quick, huh? What a great final game for the stream. Tyrion, catch you later. Jericho, hit the like button for me. Almost got 200. We'll get 200 on the VOD. That's pretty cool. Bum, bum. DeWalt is streaming. A 2B... Ooh. Duralia is playing. Let's do that. He's doing 2v2, which is cool. All right, neat. So we're going to start the raid, get some people in there. Thanks, everyone, again, out on Twitch, out on YouTube. Love you all. That was amazing. Thank you, Veselin. And see you later, Richard Button. We'll catch you next time. Thanks again for being here. Love you all. Love StarCraft. Love Brood War. Brood War forever. <laughs> and we'll see you in seven days. Goodbye!